Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, TKWA House is live and in living color, I'm Tits McGee, and with me as always, we got Tony Canole, what's up Tony? What's up TKWA Universe and Tits McGee, are we ready for some action pack house show? Hell to the yeah man, let's I kick this show man. off. Hell to the yeah. Cheers, everybody! TKWA House is live, our third installment. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Bringing on a new sponsor in Juju Professional Gaming Formula. It is good stuff. 
and we will uh, do a little promo of that in a bit. We got Showtime Shane Black up in the house. We will be featuring some XFW superstars in today's TKWA house show. I, of course, am a lazy broadcast journalist and didn't uh, really First get too many, that same transition too many facts on the XFW superstars, but we will continue on. Hell yeah, let's get this show on the road. Mr. Black, I'll be reaching out to you this week for that cannoli moment. Hell yeah. All right, folks, we're just going to load into our first match here. It looks like Kyle Ameriman versus the Moldy One, James Bennett, in a backstage brawl. So anything can go, folks. They fight until one of them cannot fight no more. Backstage brawl means anything. But it usually means the winner is determined when one opponent is knocked out. So in Tee-quay, case Tee-quay, you're Tee-quay. Way wondering. What a matchup this is going to be. James Bennett, Kyle Merriam, Irish Spirit versus the moldy old gamer. <laughs> that should be a good one. We always knew Kyle Merriman. That fighting Irish spirit. And, uh, King of old school. We got Roach type person in the house. What's going on, Roach? Here we go. Here we go already. Backstage brawl has commenced. They are taking it to the ring. So remember, the winner will be determined by a knockout. Kyle with a neck breaker. Kyle taking it to Moldy right now. Big two ball. Oh, be a big neck breaker. Holy snap. Neck breaker after neck breaker by Kyle. Lining him up for a big knee on the chest. Rolling neck snap. Bit of a snap there. There. He's really working the neck over. Hoisted up. Kyle is bringing the pain today. There he is. We got the Dutch gaming dude in the house. Thank you for the shares, brother. Kyle going back to the neck, man. If it's not, if it doesn't break, do it again. That's right, folks. There you heard it. XFW pay-per-view tonight on Blood Sword 6 streaming. Go check it out, people. They are one of our affiliate feds we are associated with. Explode a suplex by Moldy. Hell yeah, we are. Moldy stop in the back of Miriam. Big uppercut. Almost that M. Bison-like uppercut where he throws himself at Thanks, the opponent. You got Kyle like a paperweight with a side suplex. Damn. There is a weight difference here, peeps. Uh-oh. Big uppercut by Moldy Gamer. Taking Kyle right off his feet. Does Kyle even know where he is right now? They're locking up. Kyle pushes him away. In control here with a swinging, swinging neck breaker by Kyle Merriman. I start calling Kyle the neck breaker king. Yeah. Moldy takes him down with a STO or F. It looks like a modified STO. Take down. It severely did. Big uppercut. Moldy with that big left hand. Kyle with a left hand of his own. I'm drag by Moldy taking Kyle down. Fireman's carry by Merriman. Oh, Kyle went for a cut up, but James pushed him off. Did you see that, Tits? Uh oh. I did see that. Kyle taking it to the corner. He's going to the second row. Schoolboy doesn't follow through with the pin, though. Picks up Moldy. Big gut buster, Canolius. Canole- <laughs> Sorry, I butchered your name. Thank you for the share. Oh, right hand by Moldy. Kyle with a left. Did go and punch the punch? Kyle's bringing Moldy to the ropes. What does he have in mind? We'll find out right now. 
I'll throw Moly against the rope. Takes him off of it. Big knee to the face. Oh. Big shout out to the Duke of Potatoville who's in the house. Right to the back. I'll an Extrema Champion. What is up, Duke? I also didn't have to like a pedigree. It looked like it do a Sit power down, powerbomb by Kyle Merriman. All <laughs> these outside. Here we go with the damn cameras in the Raptors again. We didn't fight at these guys. They got families to feed. He hoists them up. With the matches, brothers. I had two wins in last TKW. Oh, last follows up with a big uppercut. Follow. The buzzer. Cornelius, thank you for the follow on TKWA. Oh, fuck yeah. Eyes here, thumbs up, sign flexed biceps. I'll feeling it, hyping up the crowd. He's he's feeding off the energy. All these jumps up, it looks like. I can't see what's going on with these damn Raptors. <laughs> Big boot to the back of Kyle's back. I'm moldy. Kyle kicks moldy in the gut. Not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. What's he lining up here? Hoist hey, him on top. Hold on, guys. I this is baby. John Michael Creasy, what's up? What is Moldy going for? Double arm suplex, it looks like from the top. Boom! Oh, baby! That may be broken in half, people. Oh my gosh! Again, hoisting him up with that big uppercut. These two are kicking the shit out of each other. What a show open. Another uppercut by Moldy. Moldy set him up for something, though. Look at Moldy staring him down. The eyes could, if the eyes could kill, Kyle would be dead right now. He's got that neutralizer type move on him. Uppercut happy. He just cannot. That's the fight in the spirit of Kyle, though. Man, doesn't give up. The kid doesn't know when to stop. Oh, God. He might be broken in half. Cal Merriman with stomps to the leg. You just can't Chair keep bomb. this guy down. Uppercut happy. <laughs> Timothy, thank you for the follow on TKWA. Kyle with the drive-by, setting up, pumping to the crowd. Is he going to hit it? Big drive-by oh, kick by Kyle Merriman. Moldy gets up quickly, though. They exchange blows. Set them up in position here. Kyle going for that big DDT. DDT. Oh, oh, he, it. he needs to follow up with a pin. All right, this is well, whoever wins by knockout first. So the opponent has to be knocked out. I forgot all about that. Kyle... Looking to do it right now. Sit down, power bomb. The man does not, not want to give up on this fight. This is what I'm talking about. This is a show opener. Oh, here. he busted open Moldy Gamer. Is this the beginning of the end? Oh, Moldy moved out of the way. Kyle misses the drop kick. This might be the opening for Moldy. Drop kick of his own. Big man Thanks, took guys. off his feet. Look at him. Oh, Coco would be proud with that late drop, sir. Moldy grabbing him by the neck. Big uppercut by Moldy Gamer. Kyle rolled out to the outside trying to get, regroup. That's Kyle is a veteran now. That is a veteran move. He knew he was in trouble. He rolled out to regroup. Leg drop the B-A-L-L-S. Kyle with a flying forearm to Moldy. Oh, the head Getting scissors. Him with head him. scissors. Hitting him with a big elbow on the top of the head. We got Mr. G, the retro gamer, up in the house. Leg drop the balls. Yeah, <laughs> you get the right drop wrong, you're going to land on your balls definitely. Ben, they had done that when I was wrestling. Oof. Kyle going, going up. Here, folks. What's he planning? Big elbow drop landing! Boy shadow distortion one hundred. He nailed them right in the hat, man. What is he doing again? Kyle's going back up. Hello everyone. We got the Oh Kyle! He hits a 450 splash and wins the match! Holdy is out of it. Kyle is feeling that out of the 450 holding his ribs, guys. What a performance by Kyle Merriman! 
Peace and love to you all. That's how you open a wrestling show, folks. Right here, Kyle standing high, getting his hand raised in victory. Look at this, folks. Brad, thank you for the shares. Welcome, everyone, to TKWA. The crazy is ready. What a way to open the show, huh, Tits? That was non-stop. <laughs> that Again, was I'm a out. great match opener. Kyle Merriman yes. getting the win over Moldy Gamer. All right, folks, we're going to load into our next match here. And if we got Little G. David Guerrero taking on one of the XFW superstars, Seth Walker, in a backstage brawl. As mentioned before, we have a nice influx of XFW superstars that will be making appearances oh, yeah. in TKWA house shows. So we're happy to have them apart. Juggernaut over on Twitch, what is up? A lot of backstage brawls so far, but we're going to roll with it. Once again, you noob just coming in. A backstage brawl is a knockout match. You have to make your opponent knocked out to win the match. Basically, do everything you can to put the fucker out. Yeah. Go get him, Lil G. So here we go, folks. A little G versus XFW Seth Walker. The, the size difference between these two. Look at this, David versus Goliath. The better make sure that have life insurance. Oh, little G with a hug, Karana wrenching that neck on Seth right already. I don't know much about Seth. Guess we're gonna find out what he's about in this ring tonight. Chris, my respects. Oh, Showtime Shane Black dropping in with 50 stars, cheering on the XFW. That's what a side slam on Little G lifting him up like he doesn't weigh a f anything. Holy mother. Little G known for that high-flying style. He knows how to kick it into high gear. Oh, I had that well scouted. Thank you for the stars, Shane. Seth sending little G's gut first into those ring steps. There is no Somebody give to those. Boom, I'll tell you, this Seth Walker is an impressive specimen. There he is. Holy He's crap. He was kind of reminds you of a test back in the day, to be honest, sir. <laughs> Built like a brick shit house, I would say. But you can't underestimate little G. People have fallen that way before. Yes, indeed. A little G with an elbow to Seth, right to the face. Close oh, line, close lines up right over the top. Holy shit, did you feel the rumble What's sitting in this chair? I felt the whole shake from over here. Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> Spinning her Corona by little G. He does it's not care that he's a monster of a man. I was streaming. Sending little G Watch across the, the arena, there. though. He just threw him across the arena like, see ya, little man. No disqualification, guys. Weapons are a go. Backstage brawl rules, man. Got to win speed. by a knockout. Seth taking it to Little G with the you chair twice. The little G blocked it the second time, but no. Oh, Jesus, no. DDT onto the chair. Onto the chair. Wow, and we apologize for our cameraman. They are probably high on crack. We don't pay him much. He is punishing Ooh, little G. Talk time. about taking him to the woodshed. Oh, oh, oh. Irish whip by G. Coming back out of nowhere. That must be the adrenaline, to be honest. I don't know how he's still standing. Avoiding trouble there. Little G grabs him. What's he going to go? Let's him go. Spinning kick to the gut. Get Seth reverses, kick to the gut. Ooh, what impact. Little G though, fighting back, not backing down at all. Again, Seth throws Little G across the arena like a rag doll. This is David versus face Goliath face joy face with at its of finest. Joy face with tears of joy, awesome camera. Little G, what, what the heck? I don't even know what the hell to call that. Little G Grab with out. the innovative moves. Yeah. Little G with the kick, he got the wrist. Is he going for his signature rope walk? Here it is. Very much that lucha style with that lucha arm drag. 
Yes, sir. He's going. He's playing off the energy of the crowd right now. Lucio off the road. Oh! Strong light hand knocking the big guy off his feet. He's in big trouble. Wing blade. blade. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what a match. Ooh, I am, oh, big right hand. Oh, big guy to the little guy. Little G impresses me every time he steps in the ring. Uh, he is uh, the uh, youngest Walker. competitor, oh, but Seth Walker man. slamming him with ease on the mat. I don't know what to call that. Is his knees to the gut? A little G one to the head for good measure. Can't wait to scrape the crazy. But you a drop kick, taking on the big guy. Oh, that man reverses. Set him up for a power bomb. It looks like. Oh, big power bomb from the big man, Seth Walker, from XFW. God, he's just taking it to Little G right now. Little G reverses, though. Nice, Little right G with a big punch, knocking the big guy off. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has. Is that Little G, G energy guy out there, guys? Don't forget to check it out. Link is in the description. Yes, Juju Energy, our new sponsor for TKWA. Little G Irish whips Seth Walker to the steps. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, G going for a kick, kicked him in the thigh. Hey, hey, we got Butterscotch Games in the house. Somebody we're trying to recruit to TKWA. Welcome. Oh, G going, going across the arena into the corner again. Ah, don't let up on him. This could be a mistake on Seth's spot, Tit. Yeah, little G catch his breath. I uh, you can't underestimate him. I keep saying it again and again until it's cliche to say, but it's true. Don't underestimate him because he's a kid. But don't underestimate a kid, man. This guy, this kid has heart. Yeah, he really does. This is why we keep letting him back. And he knows what he's doing in the ring with precision accuracy. Just hit him with a super kick, the big man off his feet. Little G set him up. Oh! Little G suplexing brain buster on Seth Walker, ending him with a knockout. Impressive performance from uh, Seth Walker, but god damn, you cannot underestimate Little G. I think what happened with Seth, he underestimated the little guy. He gave him too much of a break in between moves that he should have been hitting. And this is what happens at the end of the day. Little G comes out king of the ring again. Energy, guys. It is energy for the gamers. If you need that extra pep in your step, don't want all the sugar and all that nasty stuff in energy drinks, this will give you what you need. Yep, Juju Energy Chalk, full of nice vitamins, one, minerals, and nootropics. Consider it like a pre-workout formula for gamers. Overconfident. No crashes, no jitters. Oh, hell yeah, we're going to play a little commercial here. Juju. This shit is super tight. Facebook description and use your promo code TKWA for 10% off any order. Oh, hell yeah. Juju Energy Professional Game Grading Formula, the official sponsor of TKWA. Never heard of it. He'll give it a try. Yeah, I'll be all 
out in some in a week or so. And I'll be letting you guys know how it is. It's like pre-workout mix for gamers, but it does work for the gym as well. All right, folks, we're loading into our next match. And our next match sees the casual Shay, the Bear Jew, Shay Wesley Goldstein versus Big Rome. In a backstage brawl Sponsor again. And a sponsor, guys. It's up with Book It's and I guess it's the knockout house event. Knockout <laughs> house show. I guess so. Book, I guess and, book and smoke and crack just like the cameramen up in the rafters, I guess. I think this is all about knockouts. I don't think we care about pins anymore, god damn it. Let's I, go. I guess so. We've evolved to a knockout sport, I suppose. Every yes, that's right, Mr. Time. Chris Stanny. Uh, Jujubes, our official sponsor of TKWA. We're happy to have him aboard. It's like yes, it's like an all-natural pre-workout mix for gamers that gets you hyped and focused with new tropics. That's right, I said it. New tropics, folks. Oh yeah, get rid of get rid of that shitty monster and all that Obviously, chemical no shit and go with the natural. These two have for each other. The ring certainly well, we've all been right. seeing a lot of backstage brawls here tonight that all end in the ring Damn, guys. via knockout. But all right, we're going to roll with it, folks. A big Rome take it to Shay. Shay going after Big Rome with a friggin' slap to the face. Hey, with that snap and to the back of Big Rome's head. Shay, snap mirror. Kick to the back to Big Rome. Another snap there. Big knee to the spine. Looks like Shay looks like Shay has a game plan here. Looks like Big Rome has cut back on the butt ice. He's looking a little trim in the ring. He's in full control. Butterscotch games, make sure you message the page and uh, I'll send you some details. Good sir. We'd have be happy to have you aboard. We've been scouting you for a little while. Each of the face on room. Home with a right hand, taking it to Shea, picking him up like he weighs nothing. Back body drop, classic move right there, Tits. What do you think? Oh, for sure. Big Rome is your classic brawler type wrestler. He's very straightforward offense. Nothing too fancy, except for his little worm thing he does. Click a stand. Oh, Stalin suplex. Shea's legs caught the ropes the way down. That may have broke the fall a little bit. Replying to Butterscotch Games, you Ooh, gotta yeah, underestimate Shea, man. I've thought a lot, of, a lot of good things at the house shows lately with him. Suplex. Big back suplex by Rome. He's looking to bring this one to the outside where things can get ugly in an instant. Um, seeing this shoulder, looks like he may have jerked his shoulder a little bit on that suplex. Yeah, he's going under the ring. Remember, this is backstage brawl rules. The uh, match ends by oh, knockout. No stick to the gut by Shea. Shea took it to Rome. Ver oh, Rome takes oh, it back. It it to Shea. <laughs> they hit each other in the and gut. Gendo stick. Shea snaps his head back to the mat. Oh yeah, it's like a reverse. I forget <laughs> snap man. A modified one. Oh, this turned into a slug fest right now. Both men are going back and forth. I'm set the hell out of here. Get the hell out of my way, man. Big Rome in the ring waiting for Shea to get up. Raptors, goddammit. Rome hosts his up again for another back body drop on that thin layer of protection on the outside, folks. There is no gift. That floor. Big Rome with those clubbing blows. Really taking its toll on the casual Shea. Shea reverses, grabs Rome and throws him in the ring by the back of the head. To the back by Shea. Rome with the snap, man. Butters but Butterscotch games, you don't need the game to play, you just need to send promos. Rome hyping up to the crowd, going off. One, two, 
three, four. Come on, Arena. Here comes seven. Can he get the ten? Can he get it? <laughs> Oh my God! Ten shots to Shea's head. Shea's failing. He is. Oh, but Shea. He gets somehow. up quick, but Rome's back on the attack. Big stolen suplex by Big game. Rome. No playing needed. Message the page and they'll. He's on the other side. Smart move, trying to regroup, but Rome's like, no. It's like a pit bull on a pork chop. He's him in the hard way. What's he gonna do with it? Rome again with a suplex. Rolling, working that back. Big Rome taking it to the casual Shea. Oh, what impact. Well, he's got him here. He's got him Rome up. working that back. This is the veteran in Rome. Rome is a veteran, guys. He is working one pot. That is a smart move. Yep. He's working the back very much so. Big monster, big Rome slam. Is he going to fall? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's by knockout. This might be big. Ali to belly over and and working that back. Will Shea be able to walk out of the ring at the end of this? Twelve to six elbows. Rome driving the elbows to the shoulders and the neck area. Up in the gut. Big right hand by Big Rome. Hoist up Shea and just tosses him. Oh, he's pumping up to the crowd now. Jake can barely get up. Evading possible disaster. Jay reverses to Rome. Is he going for? The Rome on that top rope. Nothing good comes from the top oh, rope, guys. Here, guys. Nothing good does. Mr. Tony, I don't know if you're able to pull up the next card for Nightmare, but if you can. Um, let's see. Big kick to the gut by the casual Shea. It looks like he's setting him up for a pump handle. Gut buster. Oh, big knee lands. Casual Shea stomping the shit out of Big Rome. There he is. Oh, shit. That, my and friends, is going to leave a mark. Yes, I can. I have the card right here in front of me for TKW Nightmare. Okay, we will, we will announce that after this match. And I'm going to go for a little beer run and a piss break. Rome stopping, choking him, choking Shay, stopping him in the chest as he chokes him. No, oh, big haymaker shot, knocking out the casual Shay. Not over yet. The ref hasn't called for it. The ref is on the outside in the corner, just watching. What the hell was that? A modified. Getting Russian leg sweep, kind of. Jawbreaker by the casual Shay. Big knee. This looks like the setup to another big move. And this match has been nothing but power move after power move after shots. Oh, Shay Goldstein with that modified DDT. Busting open big room and getting the match via knockout here today. I came out of nowhere, guys. Look how quick this ended. Rome had it the whole match, but at the Here end. Is your winner, Hustler. Wow. Shea. Great performance Shea. by the casual Shea. Shea. All right, folks. So this is TKWA House. These shows don't count. We're just doing it for fun. But our next card is coming up June 27th, and that's TKWA Nightmare number seven. I am going to switch on over. And I'll be back in about a minute. I'm going to let Tony Cannoli announce the card. You give her, Tony. All right, guys, don't forget, this show is on June 27th. 
Don't forget the promo deadline is June 20th from all superstars. In our main event showcase, we have the undead Jester going up against Tuck Aiming, which is AKA Chris Reese. We have a cannoli moment. It's the we are one and only Tony Cannoli and the current champion, Showtime Shane Black. We got Lex Bane making his debut against Joseph Steldrum. Right. Let's go them drones. Don't forget, these two are making their debut, people. Next match, if Mr. G wins, he gets a shot at the TAWA Championship, uh, Tag Team Championships at Hellbound. Oh, it is the Gorilla Jr., Mr. G, the Retro Morning Gamer, with Little G, Morning Gamer, versus Brad Heckler of Raccoon City Gaming, with Koi Carter of community, Koi Community Gaming. We got Val Weaver. Hey about that, Astro Condage, aka Gaming with Condage versus Father J, Jerry Morris of FJG Morris Maniacs. We got our current Extrema Champion, Stanley of Potatoville Gaming, talks about winning the TKW Extrema title. What does he got to say to any challengers, or what does he got to brag about, maybe? We got the Irish fighter Kyle Merriam versus Moldy Gamer TV. In a rematch from the house show, I guess we couldn't break these guys up afterwards. So, hey, it's on the card. We got a tag team match, which is kind of exciting. We got the Cello's World and our one and only Trent Killer Chris versus Bookshop and Mr. Moonby. Tag team debuting, guys. Don't forget, we got a lot of debuts of new superstars coming. And it gets okay, and then we got Maria, aka Maria Darkness. We put in a title up against the winner of this match, Exia Staff Dreadful Gaming versus Sherry Coconuts. The winner of that match will get a shot at the hang title. Let's see what happens on that. Don't forget, once again, promo deadline it is on the 20th, which is approaching seven days from now. I'm not a professional at this, but hey, we have fun with it at TKWA, baby. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to load into our next match. We got a tag team match for you here today. We got the Circus of Abomination, aka the Faces of Fear, taking on Mr. J. Lee Cordaway, Tinder Tuesday, and Butch Church. Tag team action coming to you next, folks. Elsie. Hey, at least, at least at least it's not a backstage brawl. We had three of those in a row. Oh, yeah, Tits, it's got a message that Chris Stanley is definitely going to be talking to this. Oh, yes. Let's see if you can back the talk. Who knows? You might get your cannoli moment down the line, sir. <laughs> exactly. That's going to be an awesome little segment. Tony Cannoli sits down with the current TKWA. World Heavyweight Champion, Showtime Shane Black. And uh, I assume you guys will be talking about the main event of Hellbound coming up here at the end of July. Oh, yes, sir. The cannoli moment. And yes, there will be free cannolis for everybody. Oh, look. Faces of weenies face with stuck out tongue and winking eye face with tears of joy. Look, faces of weenies. Wow. <laughs> Big talk from the Extremer <laughs> Champion over there, guys. The Extremer Champion obviously has a hard on for the faces of weenies, as he calls them. He might have a hard on for weenies. He is bringing up weenies quite a bit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is the only show where our super size can come in and talk live with messages that all viewers can see to know who's who. All right, folks, here we go. Match is loading in. Holy shit, we actually got entrances this time. Yeah, well, it's not a backstage brawl. Oh, what the face is a fear could turn into one very easily. And here they come, folks, our current tag team champions. The Circus of Abomination. The Crazy Clown Coyote Carter. And the Abomination from Raccoon City Gaming. Who have made quite a devastating force here in TKWA alongside the hatred. On the way but to yeah, the and it is definitely, you can feel the fear in the arena when these two walk in. The faces of fear. 
Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match. Just an impressive long, tag long team. Time. That's why they won the tournament at Battle Mania. Wonder if Mr. G is going to be watching from the back to see if there's any weakness in Brad. T will be going up against this guy right here at TKWA Nightmare. That's right. If Mr. G wins, he and Little G secure a uh, number one contender shot at the tag champ at Hellbound. Here he comes, folks. Tinder Tuesday. Jay Lee. Catch you later, guys. We'll catch you later, Duke of Potatoville. Thank you for popping in. Later, later, Chris. Thank you, sir. Great work. Always. It's Tuesday, man. Oh, Chris, Danny dropping in with a hundred stars. <laughs> I forgot this guy was still in contract with us. Holy shit. <laughs> Jay Lee swiping right, bringing the hype to TKWA. Thank you, Chris, for the 100 stars. Hell yeah. Oh, looks like we're going to get paid for this event after all. We secured another income. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, folks. Butch Church. Weighing in at 255 pounds. Butch Church. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint. Especially considering who's involved here tonight. You're absolutely right. Action lights may give you sieges, but no one. Oh, well. Keep it looks like he's walking light. right on the crowd there. <laughs> the hell? Man of the people, I suppose, always makes his way through the crowd. Yes, sir. One of TKWA's locally grown talent. Trying to make a name for himself on the house shows. Maybe he'll make an appearance on the big card here, here and there. Rumor has it that Animal gave him those spikes to represent his old childhood favorite, the Legion of Doom. I wonder why he looks like it. That's right. He was trained by Road, uh, Road Warrior or Animal to be a professional wrestler, so he's paying homage to them. Homage or homage. Whatever. We're not professionals here. Now we're just two guys putting on a show. <laughs> That's right. All right. Looks like Coyote Carter's going to kick it off against Jay Lee first. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get this match started. We go. And, and lock up. While walking the streets of Dublin awesome. earlier today was about how excited the city is for this match. Controlling the tempo. Oh, it's snap there by Coyote Carter. Follows up with a headlock. Ooh. Big knee to the spine. Yeah, knee for good measures, oh, man. On, Big right him. hand. Elita shakes it off. Big backbreaker to Coy. Jay Lee is built like a brick shit house. I know I say that a lot, but he is a back oh, truck that will run you over. Damn, he may have broke Koi in half with that big fallaway slam. He Holy mother. Conway going for the pin right off the bat. Oh, I said, hell no. Jumped right up for the ref to get down to count. He's in control. Big punch. Coyote yeah, Carter big. working the side of the face of Jay Lee. I do oh, believe yeah. that Jay Lee and Butch Church have never teamed up here together, so should be an interesting dynamic against the tag team. I couldn't agree more, man. That's what I love about these house shows. You're going to see partnerships you never thought you would see. Bad with a big punch to the gut to Conroy. Conroy reverses the elbows to the big man's face. Nice whip to the corner. Jay Lee Cordaway fucking putting the boots on the abomination. He can lift his leg that high, to be honest. It's joking him with his knee. I've never seen anybody take the big guy off his feet like that. Brad, I've never seen him off his feet. Abomination. That. It's no secret that yes, sir. Lead to success in the pushes Conroy game. away. The That's the power that of tag, the abomination. The chances of winning will be. These two big monster of men's going at it here. Conway with a big headbutt right into the face of the abomination. 
Is he a tag? No. I mean, an abomination. What a friggin'. Knock and a press slam on a big guy. How much oh, do you think Cordaway oh, is? Wow. I, you know what? Jay Lee Cordaway has got to be about three, 350. And the abomination picked him up with ease above his head. That is impressive. All that, no problem. That's awesome, that abomination. Boy, working the knee of a big guy. No tag yet. Conwell. He even realized he has a partner in the corner? Oh, spinning neck breaker by Coyote Carter. Why is still in the match at this point? The match is like a handicap match right now. Looks Church finally getting involved. He had enough. Play with that damn spine buster. Ooh. Big shot to the gut. Big hallway slam. Oh, Butch Church breaks it up at the last second. Man, I think Butch was going to make it. He stood there for a minute, thought about it. Should I break it or should I, just end, or should I end this match and get it done with? The one of these men used to be in a tag team, it seemed like Jay Lee needs to make that tag. There we go. Which is finally in. Let's see what Butch brings to the table. That man on Koi. Whoa, he went for a clip break. A neck lock, it looked like. But Koi outdid it. Koi with the side headlock and a punch. He stood back. That man of his own. Coyote Carter's scrappy. He has, he has a speed behind him, Dits. Yep. Big snap, swinging neck breaker. Looks like he's going to tag in his partner, the Abomination. Get the Abomination stare, Butch down. It gets a piece of meat wiggling on a hook. Well, you got to remember, we recruited the Abomination from the Asylum. Straight from the Asylum, the TKWA. Take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Not oh, he took a quick tag. What the hell with this? Brilliant strategy. Nice arm lock. The abomination. The Lee reverses it, rolls out of it. Oh! Mike, thank you for the share! Body press. Close line by the abomination. Look oh, at the crazy. crowd. The crowd is hyped. What's the yes, abomination going to do here next? I don't know, but he pointed at Jay Lee saying something. Jay Lee, where are you going, buddy? Your partner's on the other side, sir. I think Jay Lee knows where he is. Jay Lee's definitely That's seeing some stars. Oh, no. Abomination. Oh, oh, what the hell? It looked like he was an atomic drop into a face buster instead. Look at these two work as a function team. They've been tagging for a while now. So they know each other back to back. Big backbreaker. Hey, Koi on Jay Lee. I mean, this is what I keep saying it. This is why they're our tag champions. Quick tags, tag team work. They know each other like the back of their hands. Tagged in. Finally, Butch Church is finally tagged in. The fresh man coming in against Coyote Carter. Which is still a rookie. That was a rookie move just now. They didn't know what to do off the Irish rip. I remember Butch is still learning his craft. He has a sharpshooter, but this is Koi being a veteran, getting it out of the sharpshooter. Big shot landed by Butch Church. Trying to gain some momentum. Oh, Coyote Carter comes back to reverse him with the clothesline. Again, another quick tag to his partner. Domination to set him up for a big power bomb, it looks like. Oh, is that a career roll? The abyss of whoa, he just landed it. One, two. Oh, Butch Church, remember, was the fresher man coming in. And he's the first guy I've seen kick out of that since I've seen that move. The neck, what's coming here? Unified choke slam. Goes for the pin. Jay Lee though comes in and breaks it up. He just can't 
Abomination thought he had it. One hand. Oh! Chokes him. It's off the book. Can he do it? Butch goes for the cover. Two. Two count only. Yeah, he's not done yet. He put evil away, Butch. Doesn't die like a Hinamo man. Big shots by the abomination. Look at the raw power by the abomination there. Do you see that? One handed. Threw him across the thing. No problem with ease. Jay Lee coming back in. Misses. Myers whipped to the corner. What's Brad setting up here? Hoist him up. Big snake eyes off the top turnbuckle. Full Nelson, Javed Suplex. It's not every day you see a guy as talented as he put into such a freaking dangerous side. Locked arms. <laughs> he had no protection going down with that one. Woo. Nothing fancy here. Big backbreaker by the abomination on Jay Lee. Lee is trying to do everything he can to make a comeback. This match has really been unsided. Lee went gut buster on the abomination, working that gut and back, hoping for a miracle right now. The ref is at seven. We got James Mansfield with the share. Thank you, sir. At eight. I don't think they give a shit. Yeah, they keep battling. Jay Lee, though, wisely. Jay Lee at Butch Church. Win by count out. A real snaky way to win, but hey, it's a win nonetheless. Jay Lee, Cordaway, and Butch Church upset the tag team champions via count out. Is that pin with the one hand? At the last second, Jay Lee got that drop kick. I'm in shock. I am too. I wasn't expecting him. I didn't know the big man could get in the ring that quick. Well, big win for Jay Lee Cordaway and Butch Church here tonight. Get one over on the tag champions on the house show. Just tuning in. Just missed one of the greatest tag team matches I've seen. Most you got because of all the brawls that there was our rules. Well, you, you never know what you're going to see on TKWA House. I keep saying that. Alright, folks, we're loading up into our next, our next match. Guess what? It's going to be a backstage brawl. Big a or Bad Amy versus Roxanne Riviera Turner. I've been very impressed with Roxanne Riviera Turner. Her style is very unpredictable and she's kind of an enigma, but so is Bad Amy. We've definitely seen Bad Amy on some uh, nightmare shows and pay-per-view cards. What do you think, Bad? I was gonna say, Tits, I'm Bad Amy, I'm sold on her. Roxanne, I still wanna know what's going on with TKS and Roxanne, man. Yeah. So it's story to be told there. There is some kind of story to be told. Uh, at one of the house shows, we saw Roxanne Riviera Turner being accompanied to the ring by Trend Killer Chris. We're wondering what the hell is going on there. I tried to get him a word with TKS, but he told me he's too busy to sit down and talk to me, goddammit. When I brought up Roxanne, he just shut me right down. He said, <laughs> told me to get the fuck out of his face and whoop my ass. So I just left. Just well, left it alone. You, you might be messing with his side piece or something. Yes, sir. I'm a little afraid of that TKS guy, man. You know, he might whoop my ass. I'm just a ring announcer, for God's sakes. All right, folks. Backstage brawl. The winner is determined by a knockout. Bad Amy on the attack right away. Oh, well, yeah. Break about Bad Amy. Woo. She gets right back up. What the hell? Oh, did you see the tits? 
These are some of the best in our Hag division. Him handstand into a splash, inside out clothesline. Bad Amy using her speed. Roxanne using her big power strength. She is a big girl. She's like a Gramazon. Yeah. Hooked up. Oh, dropping that head on top of the knee on her way down. Well, a modified FU into a neck breaker. The size difference is staggering. Bad Amy feeling it though, smashing Roxanne's face on her knee. What is she doing? She's hyping up. She's, She's hyping, hyping up. up. Punch. I didn't even see up. where that hit looked like some kind of spinning shot. Is that like a oh, headbutt or a knee? Out. I couldn't freaking tell. It was so quick. This is how people end up getting hurt. Look at the strength of Roxanne, though. Holy first. shit, across the ring into a snake eyes, guys. A striking blow. Situations like this usually don't end very well. Another quickly. snake eyes. Look at Ragdoll. Bad Amy's not looking good. Oh god, that's a lot of weight. Ooh, that's a her. lot of girth to be on a little girl. Oh, and follows it up with big knees. knees. I couldn't agree with you more. That was a lot of weight. And Amy, man. Who? Killing it. Roxanne's a beast in the ring right now, guys. That Amy dropping with a modified neck breaker. Watch this here. Amy kicked to the gut on Roxanne, going for a first DDT into a cutter. She steers clear there. Whoa, right into the Roxanne with a punch to Bad Amy. Got her hooked. Oh Got a five suplex on the Bad Amy by the Amazon. I just, I just can't believe the size of Roxanne Riviera Turner. I saw that one coming. Not saying that's a bad thing. She is definitely an Amazon. Didn't the wellness policy check on Roxanne? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big German suplex. Also locking that knee in between her thigh for extra torque. Looking stunned, looking rocked. And Amy's still going, though. Roxanne reverses, takes a punch to the gut. Bad Amy outside. What is she going for? What is what is this? What is this? Oh no! Holy Look at that strength. strength! Just picking her up from the outside, all the way to the top rope, and dropping her in the ring. Falcon arrow at that! I'm impressed. And Amy's still fighting. Remember, the nope. winner of this match is determined by knockout, so these two have got to beat the piss out of each other in order to win. I don't know what the hell's going on with booking tonight and backstage brawls, but we're going to roll with it. We're just announcers. She's got her in her sights. And Amy's setting something up on Roxanne. What did she set her up for, Tits? Time to end this. Oh, look at that innovative maneuver, driving her knees in the back in some kind of schoolboy fashion. Impressive maneuver by Bad oh, Amy. There. To the face. Oh, oh Superman oh. punched by Roxanne. Ooh. Roxanne, check Liddell call back. He wants his punch back. Oh, oh looks like a brain buster suplex DDT hybrid. Holy shit, this match has been crazy. Seems that Bad Amy's getting the best of this match here. What is he doing? What is Roxanne doing? Hard to overcome that size of Roxanne. Away. Oh, big phenomenal forearm springboard off the ropes. Oh, if she's this match right was pinfall, that would have been it right there, folks. It's how is Amy still moving around, for Christ's sake? She nearly got head decapitated. This is... Oh! Big, like, RKO move! Face buster from Bad Amy follows up with some shots. Face Buster, she's hyping up, folks. Ooh. 
Again, that spinning shot to the face. I command the That's just been non-stop adrenaline. What's up, Big William? Breaker. A breaker on to Roxanne by Bad Amy. That's for a kick. Roxanne ducks. Roxanne picks her up. Here goes that damn oh! So I need to figure out what that move is called now. God damn it. Big power bomber. No. Oh no. Styles Clash and Roxanne Riviera Turner wins it. A match. Both women. Emo. Gave everything they had, but at the end of the day, Roxanne was victorious with the Styles Clash. Wow, impressive performance by Roxanne Riviera Turner. I see big things for her in the Hag division. She continues to impress with the win here tonight. See big things is looking at the ring for Chris Six. That's what we saw here tonight. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. But a match, guys. And this card has been explosive since the first match. I've not been disappointed. I don't know about you guys at home watching. These guys are going out here giving it their all, especially in these knockout matches. Somebody could get really hurt at the end of the day. One person might not be walking out the ring. They might be carried out. We hope you're enjoying it. I'm Tony Cannoli, and the guy next to me is the tit master, Tits McGee. It's McGee here. Make sure you check out our sponsor, Juju Professional Grid Gaming Formula. It's basically like pre-workout mix for gamers filled with vitamins, minerals, and nootropics, folks. We are going to take a quick commercial break so I can take a little pish, and we will be right back with more action. cool that a woman is the man now yeah brother no question who the man was in our day no doubt at all zero yeah crystal clear step inside and be the man My bad. Sonic Adventure on Sega Dreamcast. It's thinking. And Dry Castrol Syntec Blend for added synthetic protection. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Championship Wrestling returns Friday night, March 12th to Packard Music Hall in Warren, Ohio. In the main event, The Disciple, part of One Warrior Nation, tangles with chains from the Disciples of Apocalypse. In a hardcore battle, the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan, gets it on with a humongous Mr. Hughes. And WO's Vincent takes on Nasty Boy Brian Knobs. You'll see a boot camp match with Public Enemy and the Bushwhackers. Plus lots more. It's Championship Wrestling. are back alive suckers we are loading into the next match folks i'm tits mcgee and with me as always i got the great tony cannoli thank you thank you here we go it looks like we're going into a tag match possibly yes it is look at this this is lineup. gonna be a very interesting match so we have the brand new tag team of Mr. Wombie 
and Porkchop take it on the number one contender for the world title, Chris Reese from Talk Soup Gaming, and the current X streamer champion, the Duke of Potatoville, Chris Stanny. This should be interesting. This tag team was supposed to actually make its actual debut on the next card. So this is a special little treat. Welcome to the Backstage Brawl and Tag Team Mania out show. Yeah, really, <laughs> eh? Booking's just like, eh, we're just going to do Backstage Brawls and Tag Team matches today. Okay, yeah. whatever. <laughs> we're just here to Bring call it. the action. Who gives a shit? We're just going to match up anybody randomly on Tag Teams. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it does make for some interesting matches. I never would have thought Chris Reese from Talk Soup Gaming would have tagged with the Duke of Potatoville, Chris Danny. But hey, that's what happens here on TKWA House. Anything goes. Also, we got a nice influx of XFW superstars from Blood Sports 6 Streaming. Make sure you go check out that page. That is an affiliate of TKWA, and we're proud to have them aboard. Also, check out our sponsor, Juju. Energy professional grade gaming formula made by gamers for gamers, chock full of vitamins, minerals, and nootropics, bitch. That's right, I said nootropics for brain and eye health and function. Here we go, folks. Tag team match coming down the pike. Well, this should be interesting. This is the very first time we've seen this tag team of Porkchop and Wombie. I don't know much about them, but what's going to see action speak louder than words. Let's see what they do in the ring. You can go check out Porkchop at Porkchop SCN. Streams a lot of Call of Duty, and same with Mr. Wombie. Call of Duty streamer as well, and they have made their way to TKWA as a tag team. Should be a very interesting match when they take on Trent Killer Chris in Vancello. No easy feat. Oh, yes indeed, it's not. What a welcome to the company that's going to be. All right, folks, here we go. The current number one contender for the TKWA World Championship, Chris Reese from TalkSoup Gaming. Hells yeah. Never shy about letting you know how he feels. And, their opponent and he feels like he's going to take the title at TKWA Hellbound against our current champ, Showtime Shane Black. He's very confident. I sat right, down one on one with him. He sends the confidence when he speaks. He knows that he's going to go for it all. He's going to put his hat in that match. He, don't forget, he has a win over Showtime Shane Black, and he really bought that up. A newfound confidence coming to the ring. See that swagger on Chris Reese. He knows he's gunning for the top spot, he's next in line. And a win here would go a long way in proving he's as good as he says he is. Sounds like you're doubting him, Cole. Had some potent words for Mr. Showtime Shane Black in the interview, and I can't wait to sit down with Showtime and hear what he has to say. That's right. You can catch that at the next big show, TKWA Nightmare Number Seven, sucker. And here he comes. And now, actually, we're going to reveal the brand new Extremer title. That was exchanged for the old one, Chris Stanny, the current Extremer title holder, holding now the brand new Extremer title. Some fine piece of metal, man. I tell you, that belt is a thing of beauty. A nice red belt signifying the Extremer division. And his partner from London, England. Weighing in at 221 pounds. Chris Danny's really made a name for himself in TKWA in a short time. Yes, he has. I'm very impressed. I'm sold on this guy. Duke of Potato Bill, but he is not a potato in that ring, folks.
been proud with that belt. Should be a very interesting uh, tag team between Chris Danny and Chris Reese. I agree. Let's hope that the egos don't get to them where one wants to outshow the other and not make tags. That could be the downfall of this tag team, Tits. We 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 don't even know what we're seeing yet in Mr. Wombi and Porkchop. These th this could be the next up and coming tag team. Remember, we just don't know yet. Here. We've never Driving seen them compete yet. The I do agree 100%. I don't know what the, the, the high fly at the fast pace. Or what are they going to be? No, that bell and ring. Time, regardless of the situation. I'm just worried about egos getting in the way with our extreme champion and our number one contender. They might try to outdo each other, to show who's stronger. My thoughts exactly. That's why I said it could be a very interesting tag team match we got going. Only on TKWA House. Hell yeah, baby. Can't wait for that bell to ring. Come on. Get the gear off and let's go. That I new mean, Extremers title looks beautiful. Rumors have it that a brand new title is going to be introduced at TKWA Hellbound. Excited to see that. They lock up. Toxu taking it to Porkchop, but he reverses it. I'm locking the zone for Porkchop taking Chris Reese down to the mat. What does this shirt say there? Hashtag Fast Facts. believe so. That's something he says during his stream. Her tag to the Duke. There it is. Snap oh, suplex nice. by Pork Chop. Chop it. Oh, went for a punch and miss. Oh, did you hear it was that? a rookie mistake, and Duke capitalized on it. Ah, oh, snap bear. Could have snap bear of his own and an elbow to the crown of the head. I wouldn't want to be in that guy's shoes taking an oh elbow God, from the Duke. DDT on pork chop. Duke is tough as nails. That's why he's won the Extremer Championship against an equally tough Mr. G. He tags in Dog Soup. I'm surprised they're functioning as a tag team right now. Yeah, so far so good. We got Rick Fletcher over on Twitch with the host. Thank you very much, sir. Watch out for the punch to the Duke. Oh, what was that? A snap? Was that a hook? Did he just hook him in the face? Oh, big forearm by Porkchop. Don't let the name fool you, folks. He can go in the ring. And he's taking him with those shots. This is like a, like a punch press right now. Forearm to the face on the current extreme chip. A big clinic of forearms by Porkchop. Chris Danny reverses, grabs the neck, neck breaker. That man by an extreme champion with a big elbow to the head again onto the pork drop. Uh oh. Set him up. Uh oh. Now go to move. Chris Danny working on the neck. Oh, what's this? Oh, Soup didn't want the tag. Soup didn't take the tag. Mr. Wobby tagged in. Chris hits him with a spinning roundhouse. He said something. The buzzer. He said something to him. Legendary, thank you for the follow on Mixer. It's the arrogantness of Talk Scoop Gaming. He said, you're the champ. You can do it. Neck breaker. Oh, he goes to the well with another neck breaker. Awesome. The Wombie. Hold on, the Wombie. Very welcome, man. I have to get some of these Tikway guys on my universe mode. Hell yeah, Rick. You can do that by using the hashtag TKWA. Uh-oh. STO modified to a sit down. He's hoping on it quickly. Chris goes for the cover. One, two. Wombi kicks out at two. A very unique fellow, this Mr. Wombi. I heard he's Australian, big soccer player. Maybe that's why he comes down to the ring with no shoes on. Mm -hmm. 
Got them educated feet. Porkchop calling for the tag. He comes in. Chris Reese comes in. Two fresh guys. Chris Reese misses with a clothesline. Nick Porkchop on the number one contender. Get with the forearm. It's I'm amazed with the new guy, man. He's all about the brawler. Oh, a big brain buster by Porkchop. Wow! Oh! Big roundhouse kick landing on Chris Reese! Chris Reese might be off his feet. He might be out, guys. One! Two! Two count only! Duke didn't even come in. Did you see that? I told you, the egos are playing a little bit. Yeah, these two apparently don't like each other. Chris Reese and Chris Danny. Saw what he had in mind there. Here we go. Start the Chuck Soup setting him up for some big punches. We're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How about ringing his bell? This could be well, huge. the new tag team got some stiff competition in the Extremer Champion, the number one contender for the world title. He could do it here. Talk to the game in. He's not for the pin. Only a one Definitely count. Watch out. Howard out. Going up Reeves on the top rope. Perched up top. Oh, big oh, leg drop from the top. If he could just make it down all the way from down here at the ringside. But if not, I don't see how he Chris can set up for that big boom win. boom drop. I love that move. That could be it. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Chris Reese and Chris Stanny pull out the win against the new tag team of Pork Chop and Wombi. Pretty impressive from all four men, actually. I am impressed with the new tag team. I am too, man. Pork chop, got it done. One B, I want to see a little more from. I don't know how to judge him yet. Right. Well, they took on some stiff competition, like I said, in the extreme champion, Chris Stanny, and the current number one contender for the world title, Chris Reese from Toxin Gaming. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. If he's got They're actually celebrating. Together, you gotta look at this. They're actually celebrating. One of the best <laughs> yeah, a win is a win. Ever seen. That is true. Are they doing this just to put smiles on the crowd? We don't know what's gonna happen. All right, folks. TKWA is proudly sponsored by Juju Professional Game Grade A Formula. Consider it like a pre-workout mix for gamers. Jujube includes a high dose of B, C, and D vitamins and antioxidants to help boost your immune system. And also nootropics. That's right. I said nootropics, motherfucker, to improve brain and eye function. Jujube is made by gamers for gamers. Hell yeah. Go to jujube.com, jujubeenergy.com, or you can hit the uh, description, the link in the description on Facebook and use the promo code TKWA for 10% off any order. Oh, hell yeah. Jujube Energy, baby. Our new sponsor of TKWA. Let's go to a little commercial.
these two need to think of the long-term effects that battling backstage will do to their careers. The long-term effects could be drastic. Anything can become a weapon back there. One of them could catch a chair in the face or get cut on broken glass. Even worse, destroy catering. Well, I pray that nothing like that happens here, guys. This one. Anticipated that Yellow attack. Yellow with a kick Perfectly. to the destroyer. Looking for a suplex. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Leg cut. Look out. Exploder suplex. Such impact. Really just laying it in. Suplex. Making it look easy. Shot. Big boot. Incredible. Perhaps he's thinking. Let's check your message. What he has in mind here. Look at this. Cello with an arm lock onto the destroyer. How impressive was that reversal? Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. This should be a good place. one. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Hit the mark with that one. Oh, face. Wicked body shot. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. in from the floor. Great reflexes. Nice buster first. Oh, face. Big reversal. Oh, look at this. Gets him with a counter. Overhand right lands. Ooh-wee. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, nasty impact. And Cello taking it to the destroyer, knocking him down. Look at this, folks. Big man, oh, David Brothers Goliath, right. again. Oh, guys, thank you. Using the elbow as a weapon. Corkscrew cap kick. Can he make him pay? Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Wicked body shot. Great evasion. Here comes Michael. Audio check. Jimmy hurts. Reversal! What a counter! Weasel up. This 
is not going to end well. Oh, watch out! The choke slam! Whoa, not so fast. Gets out of the way and fast. Oh, <coughs> knee to the spine. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Ah, oh, snap there. Sharp knee. What's gonna happen now? Face first, inverted STO. Leaving the ring here may change the entire complexion of this match. Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, what for? Back now inside the ring. That backstage brawl had something for everybody. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, the Destroyer. Nicely done. He picks up the win. If you didn't believe this guy before, there's no reason not to now. Not after that performance. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Oh, did anybody hear me? I, I heard you, buddy. You I have my you. mic off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we were in the call, but yeah, you, I couldn't hear you at all. Oh my goodness, God gracious. That's what happens when you're drinking beer and announcing matches, folks. All right. Okay. I need screen share back. I am technical difficulties in the booth, guys. Give us a minute. We'll get it. Yeah, I got you. Man, this, this was all my fault. <laughs> I was wondering what happened. I'm like, I, your box was not lit up at all. Goddamn bikes in this company, guys. Oh my god. I okay, so I announced that whole match for myself, folks. <laughs> we had technical difficulties. I blame it on the beer, but our next match is gonna be a triple threat match between the mocking jays and Roach type person and Trend Killer Chris. This is gonna be an exciting match. I can't wait for this one. Freaking roach that person, that mask, out oh, with those eyes. <laughs> you gotta stream with the yak gets you way past crunk. There you go. Juggernaut knows what it's all about. Whoop whoop. Okay, well apparently I was yelling that whole time without my mic on. My bad. But our next match is featuring the Mocking Jays TV, Roach type person. And Tranquilla Syndicate in a three-way match. This should be very interesting. Very interesting. What do you think, Tony? It's going to be an awesome match. It's not a knockout match. Yay for booking. Uh, Mock and Chase, I forgot you were still contracted with us. I haven't seen you in years. First type person, still learning about you. Still seeing if you're going to grow on me. You know what they say, it's like a cockroach. You might get crushed like one. And then we got the man, the myth, the legend, TKS. It's been here since day one. So, you know, he has the ring veteran advantage over a roach type person. So that's in the mocking case, so. We got Dutch Gaming Dude in the house. I'm sure you're going to be booked on a show very shortly. Probably within this stream. Stay tuned. Here we go. We got roach type person making his appearance. So I know, Tony, we had some technical difficulties during that last match, but that was XFW's The Destroyer taking out Vangelo's world. 
I think we need to do some wellness test on those guys from uh, XFW. <laughs> they are jacked for sure. Making his way to the ring from the United States of America. Well, we saw Roach type person at the last TKWA Nightmare taking on the Hatred in an Iron Man match. He did come up two falls short against the Hatred, but that ain't stopping him. He is here on TKWA House. Dutch gaming dude, I am sure you'll be on this card. Go, 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 Chris, get that win. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I'm Tits McGee, with me as always, we got the great Tony Cannoli. We're yeah, calling the action live. And the control oh shit, we're live? Really I thought we were just doing this for ourselves. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, apparently I was that last match. I forgot to turn off my microphone. We're real professionals here at TKWA. I think you need another one, man. You deserve it. Go grab yourself two more, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I need a piss break and a beer break here soon. Jesus We're Christ, his, fr his fridge is full of beer, guys. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> We're bringing you some high-quality wrestling e-fed entertainment, suckers. We are TKWA. We are featuring game streamers versus game streamers in a wrestling e-fed. El City, I wrote that person's in the ring. Who's coming out next? Let's see. Sounds like the Mocking Jace is coming out next. I'm making some like I said, we haven't seen this guy in a while. I almost forgot he was still contracted with us, to be honest. The Mocking Jay's taking a break from the spotlight. TKWA just being featured in house shows recently. They're fired up for this one. As well as they should be. This match has instant classics written all over it. Fucking Jace, look at him playing into the crowd. The crowd hasn't seen this guy in a bit. He's got that knockout power. Yes, folks, you will see some superstars that are only booked in house shoes with TKWA House. Paying homage to our superstars past and present. Mixing in the current XFW roster. TKWA house baby this doesn't count towards the storylines this is just for fun our next big show is TKWA nightmare number 7 coming up June 27th where it's streamers promoing against each other and here he comes the cornerstone of TKWA a Mr. Trenton killer Chris himself Always knows how to make an entrance. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the innovator. The man, the that's been, the man that's been here since day one. That the face the that ba -ba 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 built this place, Trent Killer Chris. Doing ha -ha. Looking to get a big win here on TKWA House. One of these three competitors having their hand raised in victory here tonight. The face that literally awesome, built this place. Great promo, bro. That's right, Dutch we Gaming got Dude. Streams one day. Dutch Gaming Dude will probably be booked on the next TKWA Hellbound, the big pay per view coming up. I have a feeling he's going to be booked in the new title match that's going to feature guys, a couple different superstars. Buying for the new title, and what the hell, Tony? Let's let's announce it right now. I got word that we're allowed to at TKWA Hellbound. A new title will be introduced called the Fighting Honor Championship. So that yes, will sir. be exciting. I have rumor has it it's going to be a big match that opens the show. Yep. Here we go, folks. Triple right, threat action. The Mocking Jason and Roach type person go at it right away. Roach with a spinning neck breaker. Goes the trend killer, Chris. Big suplex on Chris by Roach. Roach for a quick bend. Roach is taking it to both superstars at the moment. Uh-oh. 
God damn. Hell yes, I take that belt and take glory. Dutch Gaming, dude, said he's coming for that Fighting Honor Championship. I got a feeling somebody's in. Trend Killer Chris. Oh, big zigzag, I guess, from Trend Killer Chris. Following up with an ankle slam on Roach type person. Chris with the speed, sir. Sister Abigail, all kinds of devastating moves from Trent Killer Chris. One. Oh, Maki Chase kicks out after Big Sister Abigail. Ah, damn Raptors again. That's right, Dutch Gaming dude knows all about taking on the Mocking Jays. They've had a couple matches in the past. Just relentless. EKS is coming off strong right now. He he's determined to make an impact in this match tonight. Roach with a ground flip kick to the chest of Trend Killer. Trend Killer gets right back up though. Goes for a freaking close eye and misses. Roach punch to the back, punch to the face. Trend Killer with a choke slam, modified choke slam. He's in big trouble. Roach with a kick to the face of Trend Killer stomps him. I can't wait. I got to piss, folks. Tony, take over. Got it. Roach type person with that modified F you into a net breaker, folks. Chris is on the outside sitting out trying to figure out where he is. Friggin' Mocky Jace getting thrown to the rope by Roach type person. Roach type person oh, no. going for a. Oh, wow. What the hell? A modified friggin' pile driver Roach off the ropes. PKS locking up a roach type person. Roach type person grabbing TKS by the hair. Rough, check it. He's grabbing him by the hair for Christ's sakes. Frank Killer reverses throwing roach type over the top rope. Frank Killer going for Mocky Jace with a big slap to the head. Grabbing the roach type person by the back of that mask. Throwing him into the ropes. Out of the ring. Frank Killer owning the ring like he's the king of it, sir. EKS through. Freaking Joaquin Jace out to the outside of the hardway. Trent Killer kick to the gut on the Roach type person going for a neck breaker. Oh, a neck breaker into a cutter, folks. And that was a modified move. Did you guys see that audience? Holy crap, he took him out. Yes, with those big punches to the face, scorching the Roach like he is. Going for a choke slam. The buzzer. Here it comes. Stay away from the Mocking Jace locking up Trent Killer with that freaking submission. Will TKS tap? No, he won't. TKS fighting it off. Kick it to Mocking Jace. Nathaniel, thank you for the follow on TKWA. One, two, Kick out my fucking Jays, folks. Did I miss anything? I missed a lot of action. TKS was dominating the whole match. Both men got big moves by TKS. He is owning the ring like a king. Fucking Jays nips up. Big shot. Big splash by the Mocking Jays to Trent Killer Chris. Again, we apologize for our cameramen, folks. They're not on Union. They're probably smoking crack. Oh, Roach type person takes the knee. Big shining wizard to the back of the head, but misses. Mocking Jays set up Roach type person. What are we going to see here? Uh -oh. Big power bomb! Mocking Jay starting to feel it. Trent Killer Chris getting to his feet. Obviously breaks up the pinfall. And he headbutted him. Oh, Roach with a schoolboy! Inside cradle. Look out here. Sister Abigail! Trent 
my person. But the tally whacker and Mark Jace pushed him off. Big DDT by Trent Killer, Chris. Yeah, he did try to go for the tally whacker, but missed. He's in full control. Sister Abigail again. Devastating maneuvers from Trent Killer, Chris. And I can't see. He's Hammer choking man. the mock and Jace. Goes for the pin. One, One two, two count only. What a hey, what's what? up, Tiscana Dan? Big fan of Tikway, awesome show. Oh, Thank you, Rick. German suplex. Oh, what the hell? That was a stolen German suplex by TKS. Coach that person with the figure four leg lock. I'm trying to submit Trent Killer Chris. Can he do it? No, Trent Killer reverses the momentum. The momentum now on Roach type person as he unhooks. He can't hold his knee though. He can't hold his knee just out. But oh, it's oh figure four. What's going on here? What a match! Oh, Tommy, that might have been This is an awesome back and forth match by every man in it. Very good, yeah. Again, TKS grabbing the back of that mask, throwing Roach type out. Uh oh, big neck breaker. Oh, wait. Oh, no. hits a big forearm on the back of the head, follows up with a pin. Does he have him? Oh, we just about had him. TKS kicking out at the last second. That was pure instinct, Tits McGee. That was pure instinct. Again, goes through that maneuver again, goes for the pinfall. One, two, three. Your winner, the mocking Jace, Jace Aaron Power. Upsetting Trent Killer Chris. A roach type person here tonight in a triple threat match. Wow. I'm sorry, Tits. I feel like EKS has robbed at that match. He should have had that three count. The ref was slow off that big move he hit. I'm really shocked with the outcome, Tits. You can't take away from the mocking Jace. I've told everyone he's got that knockout power and he's got him in those big meaty forearms as we have saw. Uh, what a match, what a match. I gotta say, all men gave it their all. TKS with those big moves out of nowhere. What a match, what a match, folks. This is why we are TKWA, baby. The Mock and Jay's impressive performance here tonight. Oh, shit. Well, folks, it was a great effort by all three competitors. That cannot be denied. Hi, Dutch. Everybody said a great match, guys. I feel like that is a match of the night candidate right there, to be honest. Well, we are TKWA, and we are live, baby, with the third installment of House Shows here tonight. The House Shows don't count towards the general storylines. Our next big show is TKWA Nightmare Number 7, our main event. We're going to have the Undead Jester taking on Chris Reese from Talk Suit Gaming. Tony Cannoli has a sit-down interview with our TKWA World Champion, Showtime Shane Black. We got two new guys, Lex Bain bringing the pain against Joseph Scaldron. And in a one-on-one -on -one match, we got Mr. G, accompanied to the ring by his son, Little G, versus the Abomination TKWA, with TKWA. Coyote Carter and his corner if mr g wins they get a shot at the titles at hellbound we got the debuting adam carnage taking on father jerry we got the new extremer champion the duke of potatoville chris stanny he's going to be doing a little promo talking about his big win we got the king of old school kyle merriman taking on the moldy one james bennett and in a tag team match, we got Vancello's World teaming up with Trent Killer Syndicate, taking on the very new tag team of Pork Chop and Wombi. Number one wrestling show, baby, flexed biceps, flexed. Biceps. And also, we got the debut of Nixie 
from Dreadful Gaming as she takes on Sherry Coconuts from Sally Star TV. The winner of this match gets Maria Darkness. First shot at the Hag Championship at DKWA Hellbound. Oh, yeah, baby. Their next card, June 27th, is going to be... All right, folks, here we go. Main event of this week. We got a fatal four-way match. Yes, indeed, we got Dutch Gaming Dude taking on Daredevil Tony. Taking on, I can't remember this guy's name, but he's from XFW. My apologies, I cannot remember his name. It's something Japanese. And also, Alex Bain in the house in the Fatal 4-Way match tonight. Alex Bain making his official uh, debut, I guess, on TKWA House. But look for his yes, official debut on TKWA Nightmare on June 27th. What do you think of this main event for this week, Tony? Well, we got a debut from X. Yeah, from one of our new guys. I can't even think of his name. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, uh, we're, we're not we professional. Got... Dutch we got Lex Bain in the house. Eye. He is a beast on steroids, I think. We got Daredevil Tony, who only comes out during house shows. Maybe a little ring rust. My pick in this match would be Dutch Gaming, dude, who's been in every single house show. Has dominated. I'm a shot up, you know, on one house show, but that was it. Yeah, that's true. You can't count out Dutch. I don't know. I have, I have not seen... The competitor from XFW, the second he comes down to the ring, we'll know his name. We do apologize. We're not professionals. We are the amateur house. We are, no, we're not amateurs. We're like the ECW of the wrestling fans. And if you don't like it, too fucking bad. That's right. Mr. Dutch Gaming Dude dropping in with all the shares. Thank you very much for the love. Hell yeah, Dutch. Share it out. Share it out because you could be standing tall or you could be laying on your back taking it. We'll find out. We're going to find out next. Here he comes to the ring, folks. We got Daredevil Tony. He's had a story career in TKWA. A legendary rivalry with... Father Jerry taking him out in the hell in the cell. Father Jerry's never been the same since. Kind of relegated to the TKWA house shows. We may see him on the big shows once again down the line. Share party, hell yeah. Share party, hell yeah. Thank you very much, Dutch. It is appreciated. Just because Dutch shared so much, I'm cheering for Dutch Gaming, dude, now. Switching my pick. Find out. Remember, actions speak louder than words, people. Anything will happen on TKWA House. You're going to see matchups you'll never see on the actual video. But he's also one of the most talented. I think you're going to see superstars past and present. You're going to see a nice influx of the XFW roster, who's our affiliate page to TKWA. Make sure to go check them out at Blood Sword 6. Stream it on Facebook. Excellent wrestling promotion, XFW. They'll be live tonight with their pay per view event. I don't mean to promote another show. No, no, do it. So they are live tonight. Check them. Hero Katsuyoro Sorori. Shit, I am going to have a tough time with that name. Hero. 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 Tony is a hard guy to get down. Hello, go get my pork fried rice. Hello. Well, we hate to laugh at him because we don't we don't know what he can actually bring. But this is one of the superstars from Very the XFW. From XFW. Like Rick Fletcher knows. Rick Fletcher is a hardcore fan of XFW. He says a very good wrestler from XFW. I don't doubt it. We're not laughing at him. Just hard to say that name. He's been in the title picture of XFW. This guy right here. Yeah. Then Dutch says, "Edible Tony's a hard guy to keep down." 
I don't know. I've seen him on his back quite a few times in the match. And here he comes, folks. Dutch Gaming Dude. He's been <laughs> very impressive during DKWA house shows. Coming up short in the triple threat match. Uh, he lost to Undead Jester, but no shame in losing. Undead Jester is quite an impressive superstar. I couldn't agree more with your tits. I am impressed with him. Dutch has been phenomenal, though, with that hot hair style. You never know what he's going to throw at you. His body is his weapon. I like his theme music, too. It gets me bumping. His feet are lethal weapons, guys. He got those kicks that will put your ass on that mat. Yanko DGD, flexed biceps. Dutch Gaming Dude has those educated feet, is a combo striker, unorthodox offense, and overall, overall good guy, man. Remember, has it, he has a belt in kickboxing. Definitely shared, definitely shared a blunt or two with the Dutch Gaming Dude in the back, and he's good shit. And here he comes, folks, his very first appearance in TKWA. We got the Alpha Beast, Lex Bane, in the house. And honestly, I want to say this is my pick, but Dutch shared so much I had to pick Dutch. But watch out for this guy. Alpha Beast, look at this guy, he is a fucking beast, man. What a match, this is gonna be Fatal 4 Ways have been the way we closed out every TKWA house show. It seems to be, yeah. What, a, what weird booking we had today. Yes, indeed. And guys, there's no doubt he's becoming more aggressive inside the ring of late. Hey, as long as it's all within the rules, I like it. When it comes to the WWE, yeah, Lex Bane no is someone to watch out for. That one of the new Bader. superstars signed to TKWA. He's making his official, let's go, let's go. official debut on the next TKWA Nightmare against Joseph Scaldron. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> Looks like we got Dutch and Daredevil Tony talking strategy over there outside the ring. It looks like to me. Maybe the strategy Animal is take out the Alpha Beast right away. Animal Tony, Mafia type, make a deal you cannot use. Got Herora from XFW, the Alpha Beast, Lex Bane, and Dutch Gaming Dude. Bell is sounded. Here we go, folks. That's for the side headlock on Daredevil Tony, bringing him down to the map, punching him in the face. And whenever possible, let your opponents do the work for you. Oh, yes. right there he goes. The oh. Like Hero one. tosses Lex Bane on the outside. Yes, indeed, Daniel Tony with a big stiff Ooh, slam on Dutch, kick him in the back, work in the back. Where Hero is taking it to the beast outside there, working it. Hiro. I don't know. Hiro. Hiro, is that his name? Hiro Katz. Yoro. Uh, I'm going to need some Tyro. practices for that. Exploder <laughs> suplex by Dutch Gaming, dude, to Daredevil Tony. He caught it slipping. Boom, cut by Dutch on the Daredevil Tony. Beast taking the Herrero. Oh, my God, I'm going to screw that name up for now. I know, me too. Hyro. I hate to do that because he's a good fighter. He is. Damn. We'll get his name. And up Tony whipping Dutch across the ring. Beast to Tony. Oh, Tony's taking it to the beast. Wait, the beast reverses. Big Ben going back to back. I mean, to start my backbreaker on day double Tony. Just lifting Tony up. Another backbreaker. Wow, Lex Payne showing his power. What a nasty knee Arrows on to Tony. What a reverse. Oh, reverse suplex. Arrow's taking it on oh, Tony right now. He got him up for looks like a power set. Nope. He just hung him up on the ropes. What's he got in line? Arrow's explosive right now. Underhook suplex onto the Alpha Beast. And up with Tony with a big close on taking Hero off his feet. 
Beautiful Tony clear the lit ring for a minute. He's the king of the ring, but Dutch is back in. Iroh's been holding his own there on XFW, making his way to TKWA. You just never know these superstars could creep up on the main show. And will Tony whiffs Hero into Dutch. I just thought it was Bane that was whipped into him, but <laughs> attack Bane. Daredevil Tony, Tony wrenching on the shoulders of Hiro. He forces his way through. That's a Yoro. Up, Daredevil Tony sent out Hero for a big power bomb. It looks like oh, power bomb. He rolls on the outside in pain. Daredevil Tony following up a Hiro kick to the gut. STO. Or STF. I don't know the difference. STFU. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Lex Bane and Dutch Gaming, dude, going at it. it Tony with the line. press slam. Wow, look at Tony on the outside. <laughs> Showing off Damn. the power game of his own. Power slam by the Daniel Tony. This is a headbutt. He might have been waiting on that one. Have to win the match in the oh, ring, Dutch came and dude landing a cutter. And double Tony set out for a big power bomb. It looks like again. Here we go. Shot power bomb. Oh, he took Hero off his feet. Dutch and Lex Bain really going at it. But he set it up. Here it is. The power. Big, Big Daredevil slam. He goes for the cover. He might have it. Daredevil Tony. Oh, good. It was a two count only. Holy shit. Jake's buy me a Coke. Hell yeah, man. Give me a beer, goddammit. Lex Bane with the cover. Hyro making the break. A freaking match. I thought Daredevil Tony took it. It was so close. That was so... I thought it was over. Oh! Oh, Lex Bane with the next five! Cover. There's two! Three, Lex Bane getting the win! Holy shit! Lex Bane, the Alpha Beast, proving his moniker here tonight. And taking it! What a match, guys. What a match. What a match up indeed. He beat the shit out of Dutch Gaming, dude, out of all four competitors, out of all three competitors. Lex Bane is a force to be reckoned with. What a show. What a show. So I don't know. I'm going to continue. I'm going to do another week of shows. This was the main event for this week. I think no I'm going to do one more week of shows. Thank you so much for one more week. With us. Let's go. Trophy, congratulations. Night. You've received 100 messages. Great match. Yes, it was, chat. Dutch. It was a hell of a match. It really was. All right, folks. TKWA House is sponsored by Juju Energy. Jujube is more than just another energy drink. It's a healthy, high-energy and focused formula. It's sugar-free and has natural caffeine. Jujube was specifically formulated for gamers to increase focus, reaction time, energy, and overall performance. This stuff is filled with vitamins, minerals, and nootropics that's right folks i said nootropics no crashes no jitters juju energy the official sponsor of tkwa hell yeah send me some juju chris haha -ha.
Oh shit, I should have had my mic on. <laughs> I keep shutting off my mic and forgetting to turn it back on. We're doing another week of TKWA house shows, folks. Here we go. I'm Kevin. I'm Tits McGee, and with me, as always, we got the great Tony Cannoli. And we are we are announcing the action live, folks. TKWA House is live and on the air. If you're watching, share the stream, folks. Like, comment, react, come say what's up to the announce team. We are live. Live in Miami, Florida here tonight. TKWA House, baby. And the titties out. Let's go. Loading into our next match. It looks like we got a triple threat match here, folks. Are we seeing a rematch? Are we seeing kind of a rematch from the last out show? We yeah, got the Bucket Chase, we got a Rhodes type person, and another XFW superstar. I don't happen to know his name. We will know his name as soon as he comes to the ring. We do apologize for the lack of notes on the XFW roster, but the XFW roster has been kind of invading TKWA house shows in some kind of talent swap between the two feds. Certainly we saw the Mock and Jace on the last show come out victorious against Trent Killer Chris and who else? I can't remember. Uh, uh, that Roach type person. All right, Roach type person. Yep, so these two are in the match together again with XFW mixed in for good measure. Here we go, folks. We got Roach type person making his way down to the ring. Yes, in. The following contest. Guys, can go check out Roach type person at Roach type person. This is his gaming page. We are TKWA, we're featuring streamers, game streamers, and independent wrestlers in our events. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. Roach type person coming down to the ring with all kinds of swagger here tonight. During this match, it really is quite impressive. And I can tell you for a fact that the WWE hopefuls in the performance center watch his matches just to see what they can learn from it. Yes, indeed. Roach type person soaking in the crowd as they cheer, hyping him up. Who's coming down to the ring next, folks? We got the Mockin' Jays making his way down to the ring, picking up the win last week on TKWA House. Can he continue his win streak? Or will it be broken? Guys, 
this sold out arena is buzzing right now in anticipation of this triple threat match. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet the concession stands are on empty right now. Nobody wants to miss even a second of this match. Say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. Okay, Here we go. Second, and then here we go. The next opponent, new guy. Triple threat action. Here we go, folks. And here he comes from XFW, we got Sean Owen, part of the XFW talent swap that's going on between TKWA and XFW. We're excited to have him and excited to see what he can bring to the ring here today. We shall see. Yes, indeed. I know Sean Owens is an impressive prospect from XFW. Making his appearance here tonight in TKWA. Yeah, he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. Well, here we go, folks. The match is starting. The ref has sounded the bell, and here we go. Sean Owens getting taken down by Roach Type Person. The TKWA guys tagging up on the XFW guy. On a fight at few to a neckbreaker by Roach. It's locking in for a suplex on Sean Owens. Big suplex on Owens. Aki Jace went for it. Try to stop Roach for a suplex. Roach tripped the leg. Aki Jace with that drop kick. The kick up. And Owens with a drop kick of his own. Finds a way to reverse. All these guys from XFW are just jacked up specimens. Set person with a neck break on Owens. Going back to the Aki Jace. What a face buster. And buster. On Jace. Step person is really trying to get back with a shining wizard. On Owens goes for Eilish Whip on the Roach. For a kick reversed by Roach. Roach Witty. Arian Jace across the ring to the post. Ragdoll. Roach going after Sean Owens. What's he going to do with it? Sean reversing. Double underhook and tossing him over his head. Goes after Mock and Jace next. A nice pitcher perfect drop kick. Looks like he's gonna lock up uh, Jace. Oh my God, where are you going? Oh. oh, a lot of torque on the neck, on the oh knees, on the back. That just does hurt all over. Big knee landed by Sean Owens. The hook suplex again on Roach. Him roach across the, the ring. Goes for, for the pin. Not even a one count. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. You definitely see some impressive superstars from the XFW roster here today on TKWA House. We had Seth Walker, we had the Destroyer, and now we have Sean Owens. I forget about Hero Hiroshi. Oh yeah, Hero. Hero. Haro Yoshi, whatever the fuck his name is. No, we're not racist at TKWA, so don't take that as being racist. I'm just having fun with the name. Yep. Roach going with the cover. One, one, two. Oh, two count only. And other hook suplex. How many of those are we going to see? Oh, change it up.
Big knee landing across the face of the mocking Jace. He goes for the pin. Stop off him. He said, never mind. But now he goes for the pin again. Owens is kind of cocky. Doing the pin right in front of Roach type person. That won't get you any favors. Oh, that was a stiff kick to the rip. Now with complete control. I'm up for a Stalin suit. What? What the hell was that? Modified suplex, it looked like. Kind of like Al Snow's old move. Yeah. Oh, Roach interferes with the maneuver. He's in control. Owens might be out of breath for a minute for a guy his size. God, he was important, folks, for being a wrestler. Sean Owens, Sean Owens reversing. What do we got here? Look at that strength. Hoist him up, slams him down on the mat, follows up with an arm wrench and an elbow. Inside cradle. Oh, but Roach type person caught him in an inside cradle. Two count. Nice kick out there. Jay's a reverse DDT on Roach. He is stomping away, folks. Way to the side. The XFW roster coming on strong here on TKWA House, but Mocking Jay's lands a powerbomb on Sean Owens. Owens is rolled to the outside. Okay, Jace is that Roach type person for a power bomb. Oh, big sit down power bomb on Roach type person. Can he follow up? What a way to spot your Roach, I tell you. Front drop kick and dip up to his feet. There's that knockout power from the mocking Jace. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. Reversed by Roach. Mocky Jace reverses inverted DDT. Sean Owens back in the ring from XFW. Big drop kick. Yeah. Oh, clothesline. Another clothesline to Roach. Oh! Sean Owens gaining momentum on Roach side press and goes for the cover. A freaking camera man. What the hell? I can't see oh, it. Sean, yes, Sean Owens won. Our cameramen are on crack. We couldn't see the win. Hopefully, we'll see it in the replay. And that one was the kickoff. Take a look. Jesus Murphy, congratulations to Sean Owens from XFW securing the win here tonight. Our cameramen were fucking out of it. I thought the lights went out. I thought the hatred was making it. Yeah, me too. Beautiful inside cradle by Roach type person, but not enough to keep Sean Owens down. Here's your winner from XFW, Sean Owens. Two for three. Here tonight. Welcome to TKWA, Sean Owens. What a way to kick off the folks. We're just getting started. Make sure you check out XFW on Blood Schwartz 6 streaming. I'm sure I'm slurring that. I don't care. Get it together, man. Get it together, guys. All right, folks. We're going to load into our next match. Remember, TKWA House is sponsored by Jujube Energy Professional Grade Gaming Formula. Consider it like a pre-workout mix for gamers. Full of vitamins, minerals, and new tropics. We're loading into our next match here, folks. What do we got coming up for? A team of some sorts. Who is it? I didn't get to see. Uh-oh, we got the new tag team of Porkchop and Wombi. And I don't know who they're taking. They're taking on Nick Ramirez. And it looks like, I think, Damon Cruz from XFW. Again, another XFW superstar making his debut here on TKWA House. 
should be some interesting stuff here. A bunch of new superstars. Trying to grasp at that ladder and climb their way up the TKWA mountain. Tag team action coming up next, folks, on TKWA House. Go, let's see this action. We got the new tag team of Pork Chop and Wombat. Hey, we got Sherry Coconuts up in the house. What's up, Sherry? What's crack a -lackin'? How's your flaps? All righty then. Thank you for the share, Sherry. We got the new tag team of Pork Chop and Wombi making their way down to the ring. Hell yeah. These guys in action at the last house show. Very impressive. I command the to the We got... Oh my goodness, God gracious. I'm at... Thank you for the light. Thank you. Thank you. What a you What a man. The event. Welcome to TKWA. I'm drinking a couple beers. My name's Tits McGee. And with me as always... We got Daredevil. Nope. Sorry, Tony Kanoe. What is up? Man, I know I look like Daredevil Tony, but come on, Tits. Jesus, guys, get it. Yes. I think it's an Italian thing. ready to slap pretty dreadful gaming in Heg face. All right, folks, here's another XFW superstar from Bloodsword 6 Streaming. Making his way down to TKWA. Here you got some not no nice words from Dreadful Gaming. I was close. I said Damon Cruz. It's Ramon Cruz. Are you at all surprised? Where does this gentleman come from? I haven't seen this. He's an XFW, He's an XFW superstar making his way in TKWA during the talent swap between the two federations. All these guys need to be tested for steroids. God damn it. They're all pretty <laughs> jacked. Yeah. All. Oh. Pretty jacked up. They're making us stream us look like we're out of shape yeah, for Christ's sake. Guy is way better than Tony Cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be jacked up on the Juju energy and rip, lifting weights behind the scenes soon, guys. Yeah, what can you say? That's right, Juju Energy, our new official sponsor of TKWA. Yeah, Daredevil guy is way fatter than Tony Cannoli. Hey, yeah, Sherry Coco got to see that. See, Daredevil Tony got a couple extra pounds. <laughs> Better lay off the cannolis and get on that juju energy and stop pressing that eye in, god damn it. All right, so we got another homegrown talent from TKWA, Youngblood Nick Ramirez. A blue chipper, a greenhorn, just looking to get on the card somehow. Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. Bang for any match in the backstage from what I'm hearing. And owner finally gave him a shot. Night is his night to shine. We're not sponsored by Bud Light, but I'm drinking it, baby. We're sponsored by Jujube Energy, baby. You better go check it out. Here we go. Tag team action, folks. The bell has sounded. Here we go. Pork Chop and Ramon. All good. I got to get the trick. Oh, quick DDT on Pork Chop. This is going to be great. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Yikes. Oh, who had a right hand for good. Porkchop taking it to Nick Ramirez. There he is. There he is. Look at him go. Saw that one coming. Sweet, sweet Bud Light. 
Oh, oh Northern Light Suplex by Nick Ramirez. Such a classic move right there. And, and again. That is picture perfect, folks. Tagged he in. goes for the tag from Ramon here from XFW. Proving Watch out for a big boot misses. Ramirez stepped out of the way. Ramirez on the outside. Oh, heavy duty right oh, hand. Oh, what, what a right hand knocking Ramirez off the top, off the in oh. apron. Oh, straight forearm. Again, Porkchop using those fists and forearms, what he's known for since his debut at the last show. This is his unofficial debut. Ramirez throwing Porkchop around like a rag doll. And that's Damon, or that's Ramon Cruz. Oh, let me get the name right. Ramon Cruz. <laughs> Somebody had some buds in his fucking cannoli. <laughs> God damn names. They fucking new guys right now. God damn it. I know the new guys are screwing me up from XFW. We will get some notes on these superstars, folks. Perhaps we'll get Lost maybe Showtime right Shane Black in the commentator booth here sometime. Oh, uh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Oh, oh off the top down. rope. Huck and Rana. Who's going for the pin? Pinfall at this point. Not yet. Too early. Ramon, the throwback to that Lucha style. The pork chop with a side Russian leg sweep. Pork chop with back suplex, not giving any angle. Cruz at all. Tony Cannoli only dreams. Cruz with a spinning elbow, the pork chop knocking him down. And coming in with the tag. And make the tag. He got out of the way. Got him caught. There's no way and snaps that leg. The kick to the spine by Porkchop. Him to the corner. Will Wombi get tagged in? Wombi's tagged in. Little tandem offense on the horizon. The new tag team of Wombi and Porkchop showing what they got here. Up in with that bare foot throwback to Jimmy Snooker with the bare feet. Oh, he's choking him out! This might be it. Is this move called the guillotine, I believe? Yeah. Guillotine oh, takedown. Oh, Nick Ramirez! Fighting out of it! Uh-oh. Setting him up! Uh oh Chris with a knee to the gun of beat. Oh, what the hell Big was that? Big scissor kick! Him to the corner. Tag made. Take the cruise. Tag teams of all time here. This is coming in. What are these guys doing? Oh, oh Cruz and Ramirez with some impressive tag team maneuvers. Not even a one count point. though. Yeah, this is way too Double back step. Out working the neck. The neck wrench. Wombies gonna fight up to his knees. Push to the midsection. On Cruz. Who's going with the kicks? What is Cruz setting him up for? Oh, Big ball. power bomb, the back of his head slamming on the mat. Wombi reverses with a clothesline, catching the boot. He got this pissed off the Wombi, to be honest. Good job, dang it. Cruz went for a lock, reverse by a pork chop, pork chop with a kick to the midsection. Picks him off the rope. It's under him. Sure. Oh, Hurricane Rana by Porkchop. You know, I see some kind of an eight factor here in this Porkchop. If he can get focused, he can make a long way, a uh, good name for himself in TKWA. Oh, Cruz on the outside. Porkchop hyping up the crowd. It took a minute to shine, shouldn't have. Oh, big suplex. Black Porkchop. Cruz. Cruz needs to Some tag in Nick. In Nick did want to get in, but after Cruz didn't make the tag, Nick did, doesn't look happy. I'm outside right now. Cruz is crawling. Cut off. Oh, big roundhouse kick by Porkchop. Taking Ramon Cruz to Dream Street. He's got the shoulders down. Goes for the cover. He might be cruising on Dream Street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cruising. <laughs> Wombie to the top rope. What's he doing? Oh, 
crossbody landed on Ramon Cruz. Oh, hot tag. Nick is in. They made the tag. It's a Gary by Nick Ramirez. He makes the tag. The tie that turned now, Michael. Drop kick missing. Perfectly. Watch out with that damn right hand taking a big man off his feet. The right hand. He's going to the high rate death grip. Oh, big splash by Pork Chop. Follows up with the cover. One, two. Oh, Ramon Cruz breaks it up at the last second. Watch out with the head. But oh, look at Nick reversing it. Nick, Nick's trying to get into the corner, but he couldn't do it. Porchop started fighting. Nick with the drop kick to the back. The head. Porchop. I'm Drag takedown. Oh, what? Wombi. Wombi said no. Didn't go for the tag. What's going on there? I don't know. Porkchop doing it up regardless. Signaling up to the skies. I don't know what he's doing there. To the gun. Big bad body drop by Nick Ramirez. I don't see that much in wrestling anymore, guys. That was a huge move back in the day. Tosses him to the outside. I, I just know that Pork Chop and Wombi better get on the same page here. Back now inside the ring. That they should, man. I don't know what just happened, but Jesus, he went for the Pork Chop went for the tag. And oh, big scissors down. kick by Nick Ramirez. Two. Oh, Wombi breaks it up at the last split said, second. This one's for Jesus. Oh, Big Blue took his head off. Wombi again breaking up the count. Last second, Cruz hasn't come in at all now. Wombi really saving the match here for Wombi and Pork Chop. It's a Gary kick. Chop's crawling. Can he get the hot tag? Oh, he got it. Wombi's in. Big clothesline. Hoping to make a tag here. A flipping match, guys. It's bad. Holy shit. Ramon Cruz calling for the tag to his partner, Nick Ramirez. Audience is standing on their feet. Look at the arena tits. They're at the edge of the seat. Follow. One, two, three. We got Jesse with the follow on TKWA. Thank you for the follow, man. Bobby with a big clothesline from hell. So close. He will not stay down. He paid for a match. He got it tonight. Zachary Stanley, what's up, yo? She's Wombie down. Needs to make a tag. Desperation's kicking in. It's the tag. There's a tag. This is in. He's in big trouble. Wombie with a TDT out of nowhere. This could be dangerous. Big set him up with a suplex. Big, Big suplex, suplex by Wombi to Ramon Cruz from XFW. Wombi looking like he wants to finish it. He's one step ahead. Oh, Ramon reverses. Should we call Should we call Ramon Cruz's uh, finishing move the Cruz missile? RKO. <laughs> the cruise missile. Oh! The cruise missile. <laughs> I'll be reversed. This is down. Going for a pin. One. Two. Two count only. A freaking match, folks. And witnessing an amazing match here. Oh, forearm to the face of Wombi. Kick to the gut. What did she set him up for? Big snap power bomb. 
What a match, folks, you're witnessing here tonight. This is amazing back and forth. These teams have given it their all. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to be a in there. Who's what? Was that? <laughs> I don't that? know. Goes for the pin. Boy. Just needs to do more damage. Witnessing a chemistry here. This is an amazing match of wrestling, folks. Oh, he's Clinical. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. Uh oh, oh, Cruz, Cruz got him. Oh, he's turned him around. What is he going? I rent district. This might not be good, Wombi. I'm sure we'll Cruz. Back. What's he gonna do here? Oh, German suplex, flipping him upside down. Goes for the cover. One, two. Archer breaking up the count. The break. What a break. Oh, he missed. Ref is down. Ref is down. It's like a train wreck. It was like a car accident. Dance. Big snap power bomb by Ramon Cruz trying to get something going. Wombie tags in pork chop. The ref is down. Look at how he's almost there. He doesn't make the tag there. Oh pork chop's going up. We see another German suplex. And we see it again. Oh this this could be dangerous. Okay. Oh, Ramon Cruz going back to the well with that. Follows up with a pinfall. One, two, three. Ramon Cruz and Nick Ramirez securing the tag team win here tonight over Park Chop and Wabi. That was a wrestling critical right there, folks. That was back to fourth. You didn't know what was going to happen. That was nuts. I will give them that. XFW coming in strong tonight, winning three out of the four of their matches. XFW's affiliate of TKWA, and we're doing a roster swap. Ramon Cruz picking up the impressive win here tonight. Amazing. I gotta give it, that was a hell of a match. Ramon Cruz and Nick Ramirez scoring the win over the new tag team of Porkchop and Wombi. Well, me and Tony Cannoli, we need to take a little Better piss break. We're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back, folks. My bad. Sonic Adventure on Sega Dreamcast. It's thinking. And try Castrol Syntec Blend for added synthetic protection. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Championship Wrestling returns Friday night, March 12th to Packard Music Hall in Warren, Ohio. In the main event, The Disciple, part of One Warrior Nation, tangles with chains from the Disciples of Apocalypse. In a hardcore battle, the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan, gets it on with a humongous Mr. Hughes. NWO's Vincent takes on Nasty Boy Brian Knobs. You'll see a boot camp match with Public Enemy and the Bushwhackers. Plus lots more. It's Championship, Championship Wrestling. Wrestling. TKWA House is live, motherfuckers, live. The house shows don't matter. They're just a fun little sideshow that we do. Don't affect the main storylines. I'm Tits McGee. With me as always, 
It's the great and big cocked Tony Cannoli. What's up, Tony? I'm much tits. Are we ready for some more action? Hell yeah, let's get into it right now. Loading in our next. Here we go, baby. We got Nixie. We got Nixie from Dreadful Gaming taking on Roxanne Ramirez, who is also the sister of Nick Ramirez. In a backstage brawl, meaning whoever wins has to win by knockout. A match. This is going to be full of action. And in a tits and ass, baby. Make sure you guys go follow Nixie at Dreadful Gaming. Super the awesome just lady. Flew by with sirens on wall. They're starting riots where Sherry is. We're having a ride in the TKWA House Arena. It is on like Donkey Kong. Smoking our little Cheech and Chong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go, folks. Next match in the Hag Division. Backstage brawl. The winner has to win by knockout. We got Dreadful Gaming. Nixie. She will be in a match against Sherry Coconuts at the next TKWA Nightmare. See what a tallywhacker. Lesson from TKS. Look at Nixie go here. Damn, Rivera says he got one hit in. See, working the midsection now. Hoisted across the shoulders. I know somewhere in the back, Sherry Coconuts is watching this. As she's going to take on Nixie at the next TKWA Nightmare. She ducks out of the way there. What a punch! Ramirez finally working some offense, but reverse by Nixie with a drop kick. Get Ramirez off her feet. Ramirez with an arm drag of her own, locking Nixie in. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Oh, big sidekick by Nixie! Ramirez is scrambling to get back to her feet using the ropes. Drops over the top I'm rope. That bitch what dreadful really means. Uh oh, Sherry Coconut with some strong words. See what a high kick to the face, knocking Ramirez down. Ramirez goes on the outside to regroup. Well, Sherry, you All actually right, have the promo to scary. win, so. Oh, electric drop. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, my God. Put it up, Ramirez. Family driver modified. What is that? That's a fireman's carry slam. That was a friggin' Death Valley driver. Modified, Death Valley bro. driver. Nixie. Uh oh. It almost look. It almost looks like Roxanne's trying to reverse out of it, but Nixie's showing off her power. All that blood flow going to Ramirez's head. He's setting pump her up handle. again. What looks like a pump handle slam. Pump handle power bomb. Wow, impressive. Look at this. Had something for a day or two. Nixie, very impressive here thus far. Close line. A big kick taking Ramirez off her feet. To use their feet, kicking the hell out of Ramirez, taking it to the corner. Oh, is this going to be a drive-by? Oh, man. And I kick to the face by Nixie. Ramirez better get some offense, or else this is going to be a one-sided slobber knocker. Nixie and C. Oh, Nixie! Dropping that cutter. 
Oh, you really got him oh what's okay. going on here? I see lightning. I, th I thought I saw lightning or some shit. I see lightning. This <laughs> it ain't the acid we just took. Swear to God, what the hell's going on here? I stop playing with the effects out back, god damn it. <laughs> Nixie working the rocks in on the outside. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Drop kick. Big drop kick from Nixie. Slamming her off the ring apron, Roxanne did. I'm on the show. Get up, Nixie. What is Roxanne doing? Oh, oh somebody oh. drop onto that thin layer padding on the outside. There's no give to that concrete Back floor. Yes, and Gary kick. Oh, a well measured strike. To the back of Nixie. Up and away at her butt, it looks like. Her lower leg, I couldn't tell, sir. Big Nixie reversal. rolls out. Take it over. There she goes. Irish whip taking her over the top rope. Maris went flying almost to the entranceway of the ramp. Full stomping away again. Look in that arm. There is no submission. There is no submission again. You could literally crank that arm until she passes out. Changes her fortune there. Maris going for some toys under the ring. What is she going to pull out? Remember, this is a backstage brawl, folks. The winner of this match is won by knockout. Big German suplex by Nixie. Caught off guard. Oh! What a sleep? Big roundhouse kick. Roxanne reverses with a neck breaker. Oh, it's a dreadful head first into that ring post. Roxanne Riviera, also the sister of Nick Riviera, who we just saw compete. Back elbow to Nixie. I'm on the show. Eric's hosting up Nixie. Another Simone drop. Bubble drop. Look in the midsection with a stop. Wasn't expecting that. Nixie reversing, kicking her in the gut. We go with that pump handle power ball. Nixie showing some great tenacity. Willing to take any kind of shots Roxanne has for her and eat them. And then come back spitting. She steers clear there. Hey, 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 Tiff. Girls don't spit. <laughs> Good girl, Swallow. Hey, oh. <laughs> Maris picking up Nixie Looking by the neck like to the midsection, turn into the rope. Oh, oh card stop! Give me a damn coat, god damn it. Big roundhouse oh, kick! Could this be the end for Nixie? Hung out the drive. Maris off the rope. What is she thinking? What is she thinking? Oh! Right, 
Cinched in. This could be it. Oh, oh, oh cradle oh, suplex. Cradling that head and driving it. Nixie gets out of the way of that big knee. Back and forth action, guys, right now. It was one-sided at the beginning. Romero, something lit up when she got shocked by that lightning. Another great match in the Hag division. See with that kick to the face. Shot. Up kick. Oh, headbutt right in the crotch. Could make all kinds of jokes, say, but I'll refrain. Yeah, yeah me too. That's why I went silent. The first thing she needs to do is a muck dive and holy shit. Really just laying it in. Ramirez locking Nixie up for a suplex. Ramirez is feeling it. Both women are feeling it by now. This match has been non-stop brutal impact after brutal impact. We got the leg locks. We get a shot to the elbow to Nixie's head by Ramirez. <laughs> Sherry says cut blunt. There you go. That's a good name. Roxanne Ramirez with the sit-down powerbomb. Ending Nixie from Dreadful Gaming. Holy shit! That's got to be an upset, folks. A match, guys. What a match. It was one-sided from the beginning when that lightning hit Ramirez and fired her ass off. Ramirez coming back. Getting the win over Nixie from Dreadful Gaming. Remember, this is TKWA House. Wins, losses don't matter. This don't affect the storyline. This is an alternate universe story mode. All right, folks. We are live. TKWA House. TKWA House. But our main show is TKWA Nightmare. Let's announce. The next card real quick. In the main event, we got Undead Jester, the current number one contender for the TKWA Extremer title, taking on Talksuit Gaiman, who's the number one contender for the world title. We got Tony Cannoli sitting down with our world champ, Showtime Shane Black. We got two new superstars, Lex Bain versus Joseph Scaldron. And in a one-on-one -on -one match, if Mr. G wins, he gets a title shot against the tag champs at Hellbound. Mr. G with his son, Little G, taking on the Abomination and Coyote Carter. We also have a new debuting superstar, Adam Carnage, will be taking on Father Jerry. The Duke of Potatoville, Chris Stanny, talks about winning the Extremer Championship from Mr. G, the Retro Gamer. And of course, we got the king of old school, the fighting Irish, Kyle Merriman, taking on the moldy one, James Bennett. And in a tag team match, we are going to see Vencello and Trent Killer Chris versus Porkchop and Wombi, one of the new tag teams that signed up to TKWA. Also, we just saw Nixie. Well, she's going to be taking on Sherry Coconuts, and the winner of that match gets a shot at the Hag Championship at TKWA Hellbound. This is all June 27th, folks. TKWA Nightmare, number seven. Stay tuned, good people. All right, folks, coming up next, we got a ladder match, triple threat ladder match. Mr. G, or Little G, with Judas Maverick and another XFW superstar. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. It's one of them weird names that I just didn't see. Don't have the notes in front of me, folks. That's how professional we are. Hey, -o. Get the beer in front of you, that's all that matters. Yeah, I got beer in front of me, just not my notes. 
got my I got my water in front of me. Let's go. Waters for pussies. I'm just saying. <laughs> Need use of Jack Daniels, which I'm about to break out here soon. Can I say I like the pussy, so I'm okay with that. Triple threat, a ladder match coming up next, folks. All I know is you don't count Little G out. Little G has been on an impressive totally winning streak. And uh, you just can't count him out. But on the same hand, on the same token, you can't count out these XFW stars that are coming Tony on Canale over. Tony has water and cocaine. Here he comes, folks! Little G. And if his father wins against the Abomination, they have a opportunity at the Tag Team Titles at Hellbound. Coming up at the end of July. I'm gonna take a deep head break, it's all in beauty. The triple threat match we've all been waiting for. And any time you get to see these superstars compete in the same ring at the same time is a real treat. I'm gonna put my money on Little G. I yeah, know, be. I know you, better you than the bet against the ring guys. No, you don't, Michael. And that's because he truly is one of the most disciplined superstars. And in the ladder match, who the hell knows right what he now. can do? We've never seen him in a ladder match before. But everybody, welcome to TKWA House. This does not affect the actual storylines. This and is just a fun little side program. We got Kushido Satoru from XFW making his way. These XFW guys have been coming to TKWA in some kind of talent swap between the two federations. And uh, they've been three for four today. They are very impressive superstars, no doubt. Very interesting to see what this guy brings to the ring. I know he's a mainstay in XFW. XFW and TKWA have made some kind of arrangement for a talent swap between the shows. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's My partner Tony Cannoli must be taking a shit or something. That's alright. I'm Tits McGee, baby. I'm hanging with you all freaking day. Who's this coming out? And oh, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Judas Maverick. One of the TKWA homegrown talents. Hey guys, as we wait to get underway here for what will likely be an amazing ladder match. And we should point out that the hazards involved in this match are very real. This is not just about who can climb a ladder the fastest, as we'll soon see. Big ladder match here tonight. No real implications behind the match. It's just for shits and giggles, folks. There's my broadcast partner back from taking a big juicy shit, Tony Cannoli, back in the house. What is going on, Judas Maverick? Straight, I'm drowning in the The one thing about him, guys, what's is on the line in this match? Is it, is it money again, like well, last I, time? Well, we could say that, I guess. I said there's nothing really up for grabs, but let's always assume there's a winner's purse up at the top of that ladder. So there is $10,000 for the winner of this match. I heard it's Monopoly money. It could very well be. It could be TKWA Bucks. Go get you some of that juju. Our new official sponsor. 
So who is this mystery guy from okay, guys. Comes, This Man. mystery guy is Kashida Satoru. Satoru. I don't Kushida. know, man. We we got we got these crazy names. Kashida, though. That's his name, Kashida. Yeah, that could have been bad. Kushida with the arm drop onto Judas. Miss Little G with the ladder already. I just know his name starts with Kush. Which is what I want to be smoking, baby. The begins. Judas put him down. Judas Maverick already up going for the briefcase. Chaining that money. What kind of money? We don't know. Judas Maverick already Judas trying. Judas Maverick for already trying. Kashida though. Climb Little G climbing up. Fight at the top of the ladder. Kashida knocks them both off. Little G came down the hard way. And here we go from behind. Big German suplex by Kashida Satoru. Satoru. Fucking whatever it is. Another superstar from the XFW talent swap between the two feds. Oh no. Setting that ladder up now. I'll tell you, Kashida here is impressive. Oh my god, he took a little G out. It made it to the top. Big elbow drop. Away. Judas Maverick, he's smartly, he's wisely going up to the top. He's trying to get that briefcase down. He wants that ten thousand dollars. Oh my God! Are they? Are they gonna, is Judas gonna steal this? Is he really gonna steal it, guys? Kashida, see what's going on. Starts the shots on Judas Maverick on the top of the ladder. Judas still has his hands on around. it, though. Don't let this go. <laughs> it's like a pit bull. He's not giving it uh, Oh, little G. Little G. He knocks him off. Big power bomb by little G. A little G set him up. There's that lucha arm drag that little G's known for. Little G drag, as he calls it. What's little G doing? Oh, on the outside. Oh, oh schoolboy power bomb from the outside. Impressive maneuver from little G to Kashida. G's trying to hit him with the ladder. Oh, he's setting it up in the ring. He's setting up the ladder now. <laughs> Knocking the ladder down. This is a little cheese to a cutter. Judas Maverick is a player, folks. Leg sweep. Nice little combo from Judas right there. That was nasty. So precise. It's not giving him a chance to breathe at all. It's not looking good for him here. He's got to get out of that corner. Judas, look at Judas. He is done. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, Judas Maverick coming with that curb stomp from the top. Oh, is little G still alive after that move? That move was brutal. Judas is smart. He's going back up that ladder, folks. Judas could have it right here. God damn Raptors again. This could be it. Almost got it. Judas Maverick. He's got it! That's your winner, folks, of the $10,000! Judas Maverick winning in the Triple Threat Ladder Match! Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. He had one singular focus, folks, and that was to get the briefcase from the rafters, and that's what he did. He was up there so quick, he wanted that so bad. And that's a huge Come to find out, there's only a ten dollar gift card at the Wendy's. Impressive win for Judas Maverick. Whether it's ten thousand dollars or a ten dollars Arby's card, he did win the match. All right, folks, coming up next. Looks like we got ourselves a old handicap.
one on three match we got Shay Wesley Goldstein aka the Banju the casual Shay taking on Mr. G the retro gamer Big Rome and I think Sean Owens from XFW that's him <laughs> that is gonna be one tall glass of holy fuck for Shea Wesley did, Goldstein. What did Shea do after the last post show? Be put into this. Shea is on a one on three tag match, handicap match. Management doesn't do this unless you piss somebody off out back. Handicap match coming your way, folks. TKWA House is live and in living color, folks. Woo! Share the stream. Fucking drop a comment. Come say what's up to me and Tony Cannoli. We are sponsored by Jujube Energy. Professional grade gaming formula. It's pretty much a pre workout mix for gamers filled with vitamins, minerals, and new tropics. Bullshit. Here we go, folks. The oh-so-lovable Bear Jew, the casual Shay from the casual coin making his way down to the ring. He's got a handicap match here tonight. Shay Goldstein can get it done in the ring, though. He has proven that before. Well, at least until the bell rings, anyway. After that, it's going to be a complete massacre. Yes, he has. The Bear Jew, as everyone lovingly, lovingly calls him. Wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride. The only guy I know in the wrestling business that comes down in a bear suit. Here he comes, folks. And Big Rome. From Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 200. Whether it's Big Rome's pounds. video game room, Big Rome's empire, Big Rome making his way in TKWA tonight in a handicap match against the casual coin. Do a couple of butt ice and he'll be ready to get it. Also note. Bud Ice, and he is hyped for life. Here we go, Big Rome, baby. For the fight to come to you here in the WWE, you're as good as done. I tell if he got the shakes or if he just haven't had a drink today. And here he comes, folks. Our former TKWA Extremer Champion, Mr. G, the Retro Gamer. Making his way down to the Mr. ring. I'll tell you, the G casual G has a tall yeah, order tonight against Big Rome, Mr. G. Amazing match here tonight. And dude from XFW. Oh, yeah. This is without a doubt a big time match for him, guys. I don't think he can afford to come up short in this one. I'd say that statement is more true now than ever before. That's how heated the competition here in WWE is right now. A match that Shay a total upset. This man the win the on one handicap. And again, we have a nice hey, influx hey, of XFW hey, superstars. Hey, we got hey, Brian Blaze hey, from hey, XFW hey, making hey, his hey, appearance hey, here tonight hey, on TKWA House. Hey, Nothing hey, 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 h
to TKWA and some kind of talent swap between the two feds. Seems like he's becoming more and more aggressive with each passing week, which you can bet has not gone unnoticed by his opposition here tonight. Oh, folks, happens. Done one usually. Uh, Handicap match. It's a tall order for Shea Wesley, Wesley Goldstein. We'll one, see. But he takes it to Big Rome right off the bat. It? A little bit? No, spirit. It, of a it has a fighting spirit, folks. He's Buster. Pull off an upset. What a notch in your belt. Hey, Mike, you show me a WWE superstar with no ego, I'll give you a dollar. That's a tan by Shea. Come picks him up over the shoulders. What are we going to see? Oh, guys. Right on their face. In that ball, guys. It's Bang, shit nice on his chest. Stomping there. on Shea's chest. Big groan. Big Rome with those clubbing blows and a big knee left. Yes, sir, Tim. Lifted him all right with that knee. He with the kicks Whoa, to the back of the so leg. Jay missed it with the kick. Big Rome coming in with a clothesline. Big Rome tagging in, in Mr. G. He is a real G, guys. Now look at this. The fuck rock bottom it looked like. Oh, flipping the script on there. Hey, with the knee to gut, Shea with a snap here. Mr. G kick to the back. Kick to the gut. A pump handle. Big pump handle. pump handle neck breaker. Some innovative good. offense from Shea Goldstein. Beautiful move, Tits, huh? Avoiding trouble. Beautiful now. move. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. He's trying to take it to him as quick as he can, but they're outdoing him a bit. You see, he doesn't want to be um, tagged in. Double team offense coming up. Huge back body drop. One, go, baby. Oh, boy, big room. Shea Wesley Goldstein going at her. Shea tosses Big Rome. What's he going to do with it? Get with that face buster again on the room. Casual Shea slamming his face in the mat. Big knee lift by Casual Coin. Oh, Big Rome reverses, kick to the gut, big clothesline. Tall order for the casual Shea here tonight in a handicap match. Rome going for power slam, Shea with Doing a sleeper hole. Is he done? Classic move right here. Is Shea available for upload? I'm not sure. That could have been ugly, Michael. Watch out here. Have to get back to you on them. Big room with a sidewalk slam. Yes, sir. He's in control. Huge overhead belly to belly. He might have been waiting on that one. Oh, the casual Shea taking out Big Rome's knee. Both wrists captured him. Oh. Hey, with that knee to the face, using the Rome's own momentum. Big haymaker knee to the face, oh, and again. On the job. Casual he Shea did. coming out with those freaking knees, which are lethal. Two cap, but Mr. G breaks it up. Never is he going to play against Shea, unfortunately. Um, throw shade to the corner. Roman a big, big clubs to the face. Get it to Shea. Connected on that. Oh, 
Big punch finds its mark. Big shot by Big Rome, and he tags in Brian Blaze from XFW. Let's see what this guy's about. This is his first day in the ring for us. Yeah. He would have kicked to the low of the leg if Brian knew them willing to give him. And Brian sure Blaze sure. getting caught by a jawbreaker in a clothesline. Casual Shea fighting with all his heart against three different men. Oh, how about to dry? Shea, I am blazed. With a kick to the back, Blaze reverse. Blaze is going for lockup. Shea's fighting for his life, folks. Big German suplex by the casual Shea. He's feeling it. He's straightening out his back. Ryan Blaze, though, fighting back. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Hey, thrown to the outside the hard way. Here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. He's thrown back in by Brian Blaze. Brian Blaze is making his way back to Shea. Him up. Oh, big spine buster by Brian Blaze! I mean, this took you all out of shape. Two kicks out, though. Fast, guys. Oh, he knew that was coming. And Blaze went for a punch. Shea moved out of the way. Face buster. I shade and boost the bleed. I need of Shea's face by Brian Blaze. Oh, damn. I think Shea pissed Blaze off, guys. He has something big planned. Fuck him up for a suplex. All in suplex onto the casual Shea. Brian Blaze starting to feel it. Here we go, baby. Another XFW talent swap to coming to TKWA. Back elbow by the casual Shea Irish whip to the corner. He put in Blaze up on the top of the road. Blaze kicks out. Neck breaker. Just told him to suck it. Yeah. It's getting up though. I don't think Blaze Blaze needs to continue. I'm asking me Shay. I've seen him come back. And Blaze with a right hand, another right. Oh, he's rolling him up. Wait, wait. Oh! oh it's Double on her PDT and oh, just a bow. Stupid idiot. She's going for a choke. Brian reverses it with a stunner. Slap to the back of the ball, head of Shea. He Can Brian Blaze finish it? Finish him. Finish him. The G's tagged in. An impressive series of moves. Oh, oh big four up in the back of Shea's head. Is slipping. You fall away, slam. He fucked up. The G stomp in the shape. Oh shit, here it is. Campbell clutch. Oh. Mr. G tossing him. I don't know what the hell that was, but damn. Saw that one coming. Oh, Shea went for a kick to the gut. Mr. G reversed. For a kick of his own. Belly to belly suplex. Great success. Great success. Great 
Mr. G is just standing over looking at his work. Wow, so he's a very nice. Mr. G hammering with some shots to the casual Shea. Trying to get him out of the ring. Big knees to the ribs. I'll tell you, the casual Shea has been taking a beating in this handicap match. He's in big trouble. Belly to belly. The G taunting away again. Taking the crowd up. Okay, is this He's still fighting? Oh, with a kick. Oh, she coming back! Oh, I don't even know what the hell to call that. He goes for the pin. One, two! Oh, he almost had it! Almost had it, folks! Upset that would have been. Nice. Ref is down. Ref is Ref down. Is down. Heck. Oh. There it is. Oh. I'm One, two. One. Two. Hey, I guess you never know. It's trying everything. It's still fighting. I'm blown away by this. He's giving it all, guys. I gotta tell you, from taking on three different guys. Going for something big, Mr. G setting up something big here. Big slam by Mr. G! Gotta be it, guys. I'm sorry. It gotta be over for Christ's sakes. He just went off the top. Oh, Shane reversed. Now look at this. Oh, big slam by Mr. G. The <laughs> G celebrating again. On Shay, it's over. I gotta give it to Shea though, Tits, for the match so far. I mean, Shea has been showing some heart here, taking on three men and still fighting. Shea taking out the knee, Mr. G! Tagging in Brian Blaze! Oh, Blaze was big. Oh, the big clothesline. He's spine buster. Angle for the pin. Oh, Shay kicked out. Hey, Wesley Goldstein still kicking out, man. He's got a lot of heart here tonight. He tells him, uh-uh. He's going, oh, hell no. It ain't going down like that. Oh, hell no. Uh, was he going first? Oh, Jesus. He took his head off almost. Nearly decapitated Brian Blaze. Chase setting him up. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, with that knee. Oh my god, is that it? Shea going for the pin. He's got him covered. One. Two. Kick out that Ryan Blaze at the last second. I see that. What's coming next? Oh, what is this? Guys. Yes. Uh -oh. oh, busting that knee. Ryan Blue is working on oh, that no. cross face. 
He's got Che in the cross face. Is he going to tap him out right here? He does. He taps him out. Another win for for XFW here tonight. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. But a fight in spirit, though, to the Jew Bear. Hey, the Bear Jew, the Bear Jew. He gave it his all, guys. I have to give him props. A lot of heart shown by Shea Wesley Goldstein here tonight, taking on three men. Coming up just a little bit short, though. Your winners, Mr. G, Big Rome, and Brian Blaze from XFW. Number never gets called to face this guy. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. All righty, folks, we're gonna load into the next. My colleague, Mr. Tony Canoli, is gonna entertain you with some anecdotes. I don't know what about, but I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. What is up, TWA Universe? Are we enjoying the show? Let me know what match has been your favorite tonight. Drop it in the comments, guys. Don't forget, we are sponsored by G Energy. Link in the description, save yourself 10%. And get you the energy of the gamer. Don't forget on the 27th, we got TKW Nightmare. The show is being headlined by the main event of Talk Suit Gaming versus the Undead One, the Undead Jester. At our champion, Showtime Champ Black, will be in with me. Tony Condoli and a bunch of other great supersize will be in action. On the 27 market calendars, the day off from work, call out sick, grab some beer, grab some weed, and have some fun with us. TKWA. Don't forget to check out XFW. Is gonna, they got their pay per view fight. Alrighty then, folks. TKWA House is live and in living color. You knew it, sucker. We're going to load our next match up here. Let's see here. Looking like we got a four-way extreme rules match in the Hag division. Roxanne Riviera Turner. Taking on Bad Amy, taking on Sherry Coconuts, taking on Tia Punk. Extreme Rules, Fatal 4-Way, Hag Division. What do you think about this one, Tony? It's going to be Sherry going off before her big match at Nightmare against C Dreadful Gaming. She better be watching this match. Got Tia Punk, I can see much of a bad Amy you put on a hell of a match. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm tending to lean more towards Sherry Coconuts, but Roxanne Riviera Turner has been incredibly impressive in the SKWA. I could agree any stronger. I'm going to say the pick of tonight. I'm going with Bad Amy. Made an best work. I'm going to go with either Roxanne or Sherry. But who knows? Any of you guys that live under a goddamn rock, extreme rule, this anything goes. I've been so welcome, no deep. And that basically, throw the fucking kitchen. Because it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong, smoking some on like Chicha Chong. I'm Tits McGee, with me as always. We got the great Tony Cannoli. Hey, calling the action here tonight on TKWA House. This is just a fun little alternate universe show that we put on. Not a part of the main story here. We got Bad Amy. 
making her way down to the ring. She uh, has her own little club, calls it the Bad Amy Club. It's a one-man club. No one can join but her. But we love her in TKWA. Very ominous entrance from Mrs. Bad Amy. Miss Bad Amy. I'm not sure if she's a Mrs. or a Miss. I don't talk to her much backstage. The following contest is a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Area 51. The Warrior Princess. That bitch, Amy. Amy! It's not like this crowd is ready for this fatal four-way match to get underway. And at the risk of sounding impulsive, this match has the makings of being a match of the year candidate. Like she's incredibly proud of what she's been able to accomplish as of late. She should be proud, Michael. It's not easy to do what she's been able to do, but she also has to be careful not to become. But well, what are your thoughts on Bad Amy? You know, she wins some, she loses some. She's quite small for the Hag Division, considering some of the Amazons we have in the Hag Division. What do you think, Get Tony? It's done. The innovator, I've seen her moves in the ring. She has pulled out some amazing moves for her size. It doesn't hold her back. Yeah. I think she's a force to be reckoned with. Size doesn't matter. But to say, great things come in small packages. Yeah. And we got a veteran here of TKWA, Sherry Coconuts. You can go check her out at Sally Star Gaming. As you can see on her Instagram. Her opponents, first, from Honolulu, Hawaii, <laughs> Mad Dog Cheryl Cotton Belly. This should be brutal, guys, as we come to expect when it comes to extreme rules. But when this thing's all said and done, I suspect it'll be new like mask. a little dirty than anything else. Sherry Coconuts as she makes her way down to the ring. It's the guilt of the hag to be. Yeah. But waiting in the wings is Maria Darkness, the current Hag champion. It's a big match, Cole. We've seen her much. Where's she been? On vacation? No, she's been eyeing up the division, waiting for a challenger to step up to the plate. She is most definitely booked at TKWA Hellbound. <clears throat> Coconuts and turn down the ramps. And once he's coming, nest on him. Come on out, let's go. This is Tia Punk, who's an impressive little firecracker herself. Oh no, excuse me, I am wrong. This is Roxanne Riviera Turner. She's been also impressive in her own right. The big Amazon of the Hag Division. I see big things for her in this division. She's in a mountain to climb. I know a lot of guys in the back would love to climb that mountain. <laughs> Rumor has it, Trend Killer Chris already has. But, you know. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet.
perseverance as they come. That's probably the aspect of her game that I like the best, Michael. There's simply no challenge she won't attack head on, regardless of how big or small it is. Very impressive, Roxanne Riviera Turner. Here she comes, folks, the little firecracker herself, Tia Punk. From Detroit, Michigan. Tia, Tia, how do they do? Get ready to go here. Let me realize this is a match, which will be fought under extreme rules. You have to give these superstars a lot of credit. A fatal four-way match is brutal enough. Then add the extreme rules element, and this match is about as dangerous as they come. And Byron, you can't deny how aggressive she's been as of late. No, you can't, Michael, but she really has to be careful. There are times when it looks like the aggression is bordering on... Well, some more action in the Hag Division, a fatal four-way match. Here we go, folks. Sam. Fatal four way, here we go. You speechless, Corey. Roxanne going at it again. Yeah, going for Sherry Coconut. Is within the rules. All is fair and love and war. Just so you guys know, TKWA is live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, D Live, Nemo TV. We are live on a shit ton of platforms. Oh hell yeah! So ruthless, stomping out. Break up by Bad Amy on two rocks and on the outside. Finds a way to get Punk trying to work Sherry over, but Sherry reverses into a. To the head. <laughs> Tony, I hate to ditch on you. You gotta call the action. Is that okay, sir? I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Bad Amy, dragon. I mean, I'm sorry, Roxanne Rivera dragging Bad Amy to the ropes. And Coconut gets Tia Punk in the corner, working her ribs, grabbing her by the hair. What is Sherry going for? A big DDT by Sherry Coconut. We got Roxanne taking it to Bad Amy on the outside. We got Tia with a job break up onto the Coconuts into a face buster. Raptors, I can't see again, goddammit. Fire in this camera, outside. guys, after the show. Don't worry, they're gonna be on Wall quicker than daytime. Say, I quit. It's here, Punk bringing a cheer in for Sherry Coconuts. Yeah. Oh, she just hit Sherry in the ass with that. Thank God Sherry got some some cleavage there to take the impact. And Roxanne with a suplex bringing down Amy. Is going to try to bring oh, Sherry to that corner where she put the chair. No, she's doing the opposite corner. Put Sherry over the rope, outside of it. Oh God, oh, bad Amy just threw Roxanne into that chair head first. Bad Amy with that cutter into a neck hold. Oh my goodness! Tia Good tap, night. Tia tap. She is working that neck. The ref says no, no. Tia is not. Know she did it. That was impressive. Race on the outside, making her way back in. Bad Amy grabs Sherry Coconut, throws her to the ropes. Uh oh. Grabs it by the head. Tap man. And Amy going for Tia now. Tia gets a kick to the gut and a kick to the face. Thank you very much. Get the hell out of my ring, Bad Amy says. Yeah, Bad Amy just taking it to Sherry Coconuts with that neck breaker as well into a splash. And Amy's cleared the fucking ring for a minute, but Roxanne got up, came back in. And Amy with Sherry in a go to sleep into a German suplex. He goes for a baseball bat shot, but misses. And then, oh, what is going on here? Tia with a leg takedown on Roxanne. Sherry again with the midsection, working it on Bad Amy. Sherry picking it to Bad Amy in the corner. Roxanne over the top. Tia throws Roxanne over the top. Going right outside on top of her. So Roxanne with that freaking big leg across the back of Tia's head. Sherry standing over Bad Amy. 
Oh, and out, Nixie. This is gonna be you on your back. TKW Nightmare. Oh, what impact. Oh, damn, bad Amy. Baseball bat to Sherry. Coconuts trying to break the coconut open. I see they're bringing out the hardware here, folks. We got bad Amy and Sherry fighting over a bat. Roxanna and Tia fighting over a chair. She missed it. Amy cleared the ring out. She owned all three for a moment. Wow. Sherry getting choked in the corner. Oh, big knees to the face. And a bust of coconuts open. I'm just, I'm so impressed with the size of Roxanne Riviera Turner. I mean, she is very large for a woman. She can be ever so dangerous. And not even in, like, any kind of bad way. I mean, she's got all kinds of sexy curves. She's just huge. Very busting Amy in the head with a baseball bat. You don't want Sherry Coconuts with the baseball bat. This is for sure. Oh, she hit Tia with it, but bad Amy grabbed the bat from Sherry. Sherry grabs it back. It's a fight over a damn bat. Amy with the kick to Sherry's head. Uh oh, Clash Styles by Roxanne. Pins Tia. Run. Sherry breaks it up, though. Something even more devastating to finish her off with. Amy, what the hell was that? One, two, oh, kick out. Out. On the second row. Oh, big oh. kick by Tia Pump, knocking out Sherry Coconuts. Kendo stick by Bad Amy, but Roxanne grabs it. Roxanne taking the bat, Amy. Oh god, Amy's out. Amy's out of it. Get with the pin. Roxanne breaking up, believe. breaking it up wisely though. Roxanne didn't even have to go halfway across the ring, man. Oh, Reaches across, they like nothing. Oh, oh big spot. I don't know what the hell to call that right now. Suplex into a face buster. Oh, Tia man. Punk. A match the hags have put it on. Oh, did you see that? Just That's cracked it. Tia Punk right in the face with that baseball bat. Roxanne Riviera Turner is just brutal. Feeling Amy and Roxanne, man. This ain't over yet between them. Tia going for the cover. She might have it. No. And Amy went for the cover and she kicked and Roxanne kicked out. And Amy with the kick to the gut on Roxanne. What is this? Ow! Oh, Sherry breaks it up. Amy's is going to town on all of them again. Uh oh, bad Amy starting to gear up here. A match. She got oh, that bad. She's taking it to Sherry. I'm gonna bust those coconuts open. Must in the coconut open, yep. Oh, Sherry comes back to Bad Amy. Freaking vicious match from our head division. Roxanne Riviera Turner breaking out the tables now. Sherry went on like suplex, this could be it. Oh, Sherry almost had it. This is a freaking awesome match, man. And Bulldog by Tia to Roxanne. Sherry sitting there for eight. That's suplex into a neck breaker. Sherry with the cover. She might have it. Sherry gets it. Sherry Coconut's your winner here tonight. Trying to gain some momentum. Heading into Nightmare against Nixie from Dreadful Gaming. It's a bag, brother. Wow, what a freaking match. I feel bad I had to go out and smoke a joint during it, but it was incredible. Bravo to the Hag Division for bringing the pain here at TKWA House.
Sherry Coconuts Sherry picking up the win here tonight. Impressive. Sherry Coconuts on the next big card. TKWA Nightmare. June 27th. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead. TKWA is sponsored by Jujube Energy. Jujube Energy includes high doses of B, C, and D vitamins, antioxidants to help boost your immune system, and nootropics for brain and eye health, folks. This is like a pre-workout mix for gamers. Jujube is just more than just another energy drink. It's healthy, high-energy, focused formula. It's sugar-free and has natural caffeine. No crashes or jitters, folks. TKWA is proudly sponsored by Jujube Energy. Coming up next, we got a tag team match for the ages. We got our reigning defending tag team champions, the Circus of Abomination, the Abomination Brad Heckler from Raccoon City Gaming with his partner, the crazy clown Coyote Carter, taking on the made-up team here of Daredevil Tony and Adam Carnage. This should be a very interesting match, folks. I'm very excited. What do you think, Tony? The, the mystery. Adam Carnage is dead of a Tony. The Adam team. Carnage is a mystery to us. We have not seen him yet. I wonder if TK management put Devil Tony the veteran with the rookie. Look at the circus of the abomination. It's going to be crazy. Gonna be one hell of a match, I'll tell you. Anytime the Circus of Abomination, aka the Faces of Fear, are in a match, you can guarantee it's highlight reel type shit. I know how this plays out. Will Daredevil Tony be a team player, or will he just let the Circus eat? It's gonna be very interesting to see how Daredevil Tony and Adam Carnage team up. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Yes, indeed, folks. We're doing a live TKWA show. And sometimes we are going to get 2K20. I can't believe that shit just happened. But that's all right, folks. We're going to head into a commercial break and load into our next match. Cool that a woman is the man now. Yeah, brother. No question who the man was in our day. No doubt at all. Zero. Yeah. Crystal clear. Step inside and be the man. Oh, 
You feel the club, love, love. What's your name? Scary Payton, but they call me the club. How you feeling the night? Yo, I'm feeling the love. Feel the love, love. <laughs> Yo, Sonny! Sonny! Man, stay off the light speed! My bad. Yeah. Sonic Adventure on Sega Dreamcast. It's thinking. And try Castrol Syntec Blend for added synthetic protection. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Championship Wrestling returns Friday night, March 12th to Packard Music Hall in Warren, Ohio. In the main event, The Disciple, part of One Warrior Nation, tangles with chains from The Disciples of Apocalypse. In a hardcore battle, the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan, gets it on with a humongous Mr. Hughes. NWO's Vincent takes on Nasty Boy Brian Knobs. You'll see a boot camp match with Public Enemy and the Bushwhackers. Plus lots more. It's Championship Wrestling. Folks, back at you live, TKWA House. Let's see if we can load into this match or not. Koi Carter in the motherfucking house. Perfect timing. We got the crazy clown, Coyote Carter, and his partner, the Abomination Team, and up next against Daredevil Tony and Adam Carnage. Let's see how that goes. We don't get 2K20 again. If we don't get 2K20 again, yeah. Looks like we're good, folks. We're loading into the match. Here we go. Of course, Coyote Carter and the Abomination pairing up as the Circus of Abomination. The Hatred coming in as the Puppet Master, forming the faction of the Faces of Fear. And they have become the dominant force of TKWA. Josh Reese in the house. Josh Reese. Smiling face with What's up, dude? Contact. They grew with you more. Captain Dominant. Agreed. TKWA Tag Team Champions. The Faces of Fear. Everyone is having a wonderful day today. Heavy black heart. Heavy black heart. Josh Reese, we're having a great day. We're playing with the nuts. We're calling some fucking TKWA action. I'm Tits McGee, and with me as always, Tony Cannoli. That is right. What's up, Lee? And what's up, Giovanni? Shout out to Giovanni, Rick Fletcher's son. What's going on, pal? Welcome to TKWA. Clip 30. And their opponents first. Here we go. We got Daredevil Tony making his way to the ring. We got Adam Carnage as his partner, which is a bit of an enigma. We've never even seen him before. He's a known clash of clan streamer. Josh with the followage for 239 days on Facebook. Thank you very much, sir. We're live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, DLive, Smashcast, and of course, Nemo TV. We're live on seven platforms, probably at your mom's house, too. It gets her wet. TKWA house, baby. Balls to the year. Followage. All right, all right, Mr. Coyote Carter with the fall. It's 239 days as well. Here we go, folks. We got the very first appearance of Adam Carnage from Gaming with Carnage. This is it. 
This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity A huge clash of clans. Streamer making his way to TKWA. Make a name for himself. We're excited to have him a part of the roster. We'll see you. Let's look kind of I'd say he's among the most fearless superstars on the roster ready. today. I can't argue that, Michael. I mean, he'll pretty much do absolutely anything inside the ring. Should be if interesting to see what he brings to the table. So far, we've almost seen every new superstar that's going to actually debut on Nightmare up here on TKWA House. Coyote Carter and Daredevil Tony starting it off. Tony taking them down. It's going to be great in full control. Tactical right here, Coy with the leg scissors, Tony back with the head off. The impact. Tony trying to get up, get his way up. Tony says no and throws Coy face first down. Nothing fancy here. Tony with that big backbreaker on Coy. Tony taking it to Coy right away. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, Coy kicks out. Off the ropes, they run into each other. Coy tosses Daredevil Tony. It throws Tony into where he doesn't want to be. Tony reverses with a boot to the face, club to the back of Coy. He's got him coming. Daredevil Tony with a pin. One count. That's the veteran right there. Double axe handle smash. Now he's been put on the defensive. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success. And he's whipping Coy into his corner. Is he going to make the tag? No, Coy reversed. It throws Tony into his own corner. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Uh-oh. I rent district. Oh, God. We got to see it. That's all the man. Boom, baby! Coyote Carter with a huge suplex off the top rope! Looks like we'll, buy, we'll be buying some new ring boards for the ring after that. Daredevil Tony taking him down, though. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is a big backbreaker by Daredevil Tony on the court. He with that big shot. Oh, he busts open Coyote Carter. Tags in the partner, Adam Carnage. In a standard tag team uh, match, one competitor God, is in the Tony, ring against That ref needs to check Tony's gloves and last knuckles. Oh, big roundhouse kick by Adam Carnage. He's a legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent. Carnage locking the arm. By an opponent. Oh. Tags their partner. The person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the end. And I'm placing Coy against the rope. What are we going to see here? Something's being set up. Coy reverse. Oh, Adam Carnage. Another roundhouse, like drop kick. Adam Carnage with some impressive offense. Big oh. kick to the midsection on Adam. Dropping Adam down, stomping, choking Adam in the corner. Ref doesn't give a damn. He's not breaking it. Comes in off the tag. Uh oh, the big man's coming in. The abomination. The abomination what is a monster of a man. Look at that power. Hoisting up that 200 pounds with ease. Power on display. No, Tony wants He's in. Into the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Oh, head first, but uh, Adam's like, nope. No oh! The barrel kick. Adam Carnage getting off on the abomination here. Here's the tag. Tags in Daredevil in. Tony. So Dual so super so kicks. Cool. Look at it catch him off guard. Big man versus big oh, man coming up. You're going for a pinfall at this point. Nice kick out there. Oh, oh look at this. What a headbutt. The headbutt did nothing onto the abomination. Push. It pushes him. needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. Can't Double Tony. Oh, a oh, big man abomination throws the other big man across the ring. Did you see that, Tits? I saw that. Big Great suplex by, by the abomination. These two monsters going at each other. Really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't 
He's oh hooking God. him. He's trying to ragdoll him, but Tony grabs the rope. He would go for the submission so close to the ropes. Definitely not the best strategy I've ever seen. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, Tony reverses it. Tony firing up. Coy Carter getting in the ring. Gets involved. Big knee buster. Oh, ref, ref. Did they tag? Must have been a quick tag. There was a quick tag there, yep. Is there something going on with Tony? I see right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Tony's fired up. <laughs> Shoulders on the back. Uh oh, what? One, one count two. only. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. And Uncle Tony just stopped away at Coy's back. Coy's elbowing him. I want to tell you where he just elbowed him. That wasn't his stomach, guys. Oh, big spine buster by Coyote Carter. Taking out the big man, goes for the pin. Adam Carnage getting in there, though. He has proved himself. Well, Tony, oh, knee lift! Oh, big coyote slam! He got his hand on the rope at the last second. Tony, Daredevil Tony, showing great ring awareness. Grabbing for the rope. He's going for the tag to Adam Garnage. What a match so far. Oh, taking Clay off his feet. I don't know what the hell that was. They lock him up with the face. Big eye rake. Coyote Carter has no problem bending the rules. Big elbow to the back of the head. Carnage down. Trips him. Attack at this point can change the whole complexion of this match. Super kick. For the pin, he's not even for a leg drop instead. It's like Adam Carnage is lining something up. Key mistake right here. He didn't follow through. Oh, oh big man. super kick! Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over. Isn't the way he is. He's going for his, his corner. It looks like partner. Adam Carnage, Carnage showing very off. Very good for these guys right now. I can tell you that. What's uh, he gonna do here, folks? Oh, what? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Just showing off, I guess. What the fuck was that? I don't even know what the hell that was. Coyote Carter takes advantage, though. Is that a rookie mistake on the newcomer? I think so. Hey, what the hell? Adam Carnage with the schoolboy pin too. Oh, so close. The, the abomination comes and breaks it up. The last second. Saw that one coming. Carnage and Anthony Sarah score the upset over the tag team champions. Adam Carnage barely getting the win. Wow, impressive from both superstars. A match. That's no easy feat to get over on the tag team champions, let me tell you. What a match, guys. That was an Here awesome second. Another exciting tag team match in the book. Wow, Adam and Carnage and Daredevil and Tony and making the team work to here tonight. This guy. And getting one yeah, over on the tag team champions. Yes, in Adam stuff. I thought the bot nation had.
Lots of craziness here tonight, folks. This is TKWA House. It's our house show. Doesn't count towards the actual storylines. You're in your house. All right. Next match coming up next. We got Raiden Yamasita versus Trend Killer Chris. Raiden is from XFW. We've had a, a nice influx of XFW superstars make their way to TKWA. And Raiden Yamasita is taking on Trend Killer Chris in a backstage brawl, which means, yes, this match has to be won by knockout, folks. What do you think, Tony? Knockout match. I don't know anything about Raiden, but I know Trend Killer Chris brings all his heart and soul into that ring and gives it a hell of a fight. At the end of the day, my money's on Trend Killer Chris. Fuck the newbie. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> well, some strong words from Tony Cannoli. And uh, yes, folks, another XFW talent swap makes its way to TKWA House. Here we go, folks. Backstage brawl. The winner is won by knockout. Trent Killer Chris taking it to Raiden right off the bat. To the infirmary. Chris, are you trying to pull the mask off? I Get think he mask. is. <laughs> it's a huge sign of disrespect in the lucha culture. And Trent Killer Chris, all about that disrespect. And scissor applied. Hey, locking those scissor legs, elbows oh, to Trent Killer's head. Elbows. Let's see if this guy has any high flying action, man. He got the lucha door look. Does he actually do the lucha door? Kind of, kind of renaissance of like a Japanese luchador. Oh, big swanton there. Putting some real impact on it. He added the more weight to it by hooking his legs the way he did. Some deadly accuracy by Raiden Yamashita. He didn't stop let it up on Trend Killer. Trend Killer kicks him away at the last second. Oh, big zigzag by Trend Killer Chris taking it to Raiden. Again, we have a nice influx of XFW superstars invading TKWA and vice versa. You can expect some TKWA superstars making their way on XFW shows soon. Oh, yeah. Killer with the choke on Raiden. Oh, another kick to the midsection of Trent Killer. Hooking the arm, whip him to the ropes, under slides him. Oh, Hurricane Rana by Raiden. I'll tell you this, Raiden Yamashita, very impressive. Yes, he is. What the hell, Falcon Arrow? Definitely reminds me of that Japanese. Oh my God, that Japador, Japanese. I'm gonna call it Japador Lucha style, which is like a little uh, hybrid of Japanese and Mexican style. It's. I think that took you out of Raven. Did you see? He didn't get up right away. He held his ribs. Trent Killer Chris catching the boot. Exploder suplex. Off the energy of the crash. Oh, he's gunning for the machine gun. I thought he was jizzing on the crowd, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. After his game, especially when there are no count outs. Reversal. What a counter. Whack. And with that oh, kick to the gut, Trent Killer with a right, left hand, Reverse right hand him in. Fucking A. And then throwing Trent Killer head first into the apron. Back and forth right now, Raiden with that big high spin kick to the face. Now can Trent Killer to the mat. Trent Killer just popped right back up through Raiden into the ring steps first. Irish whip. Trent Killer Chris falls down. 
Remember, the winner of this match is determined by knockout. Ooh. And then it's a going back and forth. Trend Killer is giving it everything he got, like always. Wasn't expecting that. A big song club to the chest. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Harsh impact. Oh, head first into the friggin' ring post. Get now, gut first. Aiden's using the ring post and the stale steps for punishment on Trend Killer. Like I said, you can expect possibly some of these XFW superstars making their way to the big shows, a.k.a. TKWA Nightmare in the pay-per-views. Raiden Yamashita showing why the XFW roster has invaded TKWA to bring legitimacy to TKWA. Raiden's back in the ring now. He's just standing over there looking victorious. Is this a sign of things to come? Will Trent kill a pull up, upset out and f his ass and send him back? And Bringing it back into the ring. Trent Killer trying to go for a, a German counter. suplex, it looked like, but Raiden fought him off. Oh, this could be something. Raiden, what is he setting him up for? Oh! What the hell was that? Was that a mission? Was that a mission nuclear driver? <laughs> something like that. That was something close to that. Yeah. I kicked the turn killer's face. Aiden's hyping up. Ooh, what impact! TKS make a comeback. Oh, look at the baseball slide. Arkin Rudder on Trend Killer by Raiden. Oh, oh damn! He nearly took his head off. Stopping the Shining Wizard. Scooped up. Look out. Raiden oh. picking him up. Oh! Raiden Yamashita getting the win over Trent Killer Chris. And here's another pick of the movie. XFW has been impressive here today on TKWA House. Look at that big slam to finish him off. Raiden Yamashita making a statement here from XFW invading over to TKWA. In any arena, Michael. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win there tonight. But it didn't. Damn good match for sure. Congratulations to Raiden Yamashita. All right, folks, we got our main event next, right before we hit our main event. Let's take a little word for our sponsor. Our brand new sponsor, Juju Energy Professional Ga Grade Gaming Formula. Consider it pre-workout mix for gamers. It is great stuff full of vitamins, minerals, and nootropics. None of that crappy caffeine to really get you with the jitters and crashes includes high doses of B, C, and D vitamins antioxidants to help boost your immune system jujube energy it's time to get hype baby
Oh, shit! I totally forgot to turn on my mic again. Okay, let me do that again. So we got the Destroyer from XFW taking on safe. Nixie's manager from Dreadful Gaming in the main event. Safe has been an enigma. We have not seen him yet, and we have seen the Destroyer destroy Vincello's world on the last week of TKWA house shows. Should be very interesting. What do you think, Mr. Tony Gino? Um, I don't know what to say about this match. I think the Destroyer is his it's set because I don't know why it managed the main event. I think he put one in the backstage. <laughs> it <laughs> will be a very interesting to see what happens here. We'll find out. I, I don't know what to say about it. I'm sorry, Tits. No, I don't blame you. Booking's a little fucky here. So here we go. We got the Destroyer. The Destroyer's another talent swap from XFW that comes to TKWA. And he looks like a badass motherfucker, let me tell you. He the Beast is definitely a... Um, definitely a... I feel like it's asking me. This is me, but overall style. Making his way to the ring from Phoenix, Arizona. Well, it doesn't matter so much what you look like, and it matters how you perform in the ring. I definitely think he's a Gavincello with no problem. How I feel like that. I don't know. Did Seth get a upset? Did he? Seth, Seth is typically a manager, the manager of Nixie from Dreadful Gaming, so it should be interesting to see what happens here. Will we really see a true underdog story tonight? Is the question. He is a monster in the ring. Dreadful Gaming. Rick says the Destroyer is a monster in the ring, hence the name Destroyer. Oh, we're going to find out. But here is Safe. He's a very unorthodox European guy. You know, you can't, you can't count him out. He's slick. He's got some moves. So it'll be interesting to see. Kinda, He kind of got his look from Dan Double Tony. A little bit. From Spain. Weighing in at 100. But this is Safe. This is Nixie's manager of Dreadful Gaming. Let's we'll see what he can bring tonight. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint. Especially considering who's he the actually fight. Right that is the question. He's going to have a tall order against the Destroyer from XFW. Still going, gents? We're still awesome. going, Mr. Chris Danny. We are over four hours live. This is the last match, though. Speed is what he needs in this fight. We're calling it after this match. At this point, we're four hours in. What's another four hours? No, just Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm all for it. I don't care. <laughs> you want to do another four? I just need to go. I need to go for a little smoke break outside, though. If we do that, I'm gonna eat some. I got up today. I went right to this. Yeah, I know. I think we're gonna call it after this match. Four hours of TKWA house. Good enough. tell you, I kind of like safe style here. Seth or safe or whatever the fuck his name is called. Let's see if he can bring it against the destroyer from XFW. It's, this is it, guys. We're ready to get this match going. All right, here we go. Oh, oh the yeah. destroyer coming out strong right away. This match will be white hot. Oh, well, one, two, three. No, just kidding. <laughs> The Destroyer. Destroyer is killing it so far. He's already won a match against Vincello here tonight. He might have been waiting on that one. He's looking a little wobbly here. Save trying to get some offense on the Destroyer. Float over. Oh, it's it's float over DDT. Gets out of the way. All we know about the Destroyer so far is he's got a very executioner-like move set. Fixing to end you right away. Safe trying to get some offense, so the destroyer showing his power. Oh, 
tossing them aside. One sided right now, folks. It's like a, like a car wreck. It's like a person versus a car. That's gonna come out on top. Go see few sexy Syrian bastard face with tears of joy. Oh, big backbreaker by the destroyer. Destroyer bringing him into the ring the hard way, working the shoulder and the chest. It's stomping away, I said. Uh, I'll tell you, man, this is the gimp you don't want to see in Pulp Fiction. He will fuck your shit up. Safe, though, going for the cover. Plenty of fight left. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Oh, the Destroyer missed. If locking up. Oh, I noticed we had Mr. Showtime Shane Black in here. We need him in the commentary booth so he can comment on his XFW superstars that are invading TKWA. We're going to work that out down the line. That's going to happen. I won't take no for an answer either. What a shot. Take it to Seth, big time. But I'll grab him by the neck and pick him up. Oh, no. Just with ease, the destroyer, backbreaker. Oh, again. The destroyer, vicious. Uh oh. Picks him up, drops him down. Big power bomb. Every shot, every move is a death sentence. Wow. I don't even know what to call that. The driver from hell! Hello. Black, what is that move called, sir? Hello on D Live! Hello, 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 hello. Omega Driver. Omega Driver! My. Oh my god! The Destroyer absolutely decimating Seth from Dreadful Gaming. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Going to the top exactly away. Right. Burning hammer. Favorite. Big elbow drop. Piercing elbow. Bosfer. Got him up. Safe trying to get some offense. So. Big picked him up. Rain is dreary. If you just hit him on a big shot, try to fight back. Whoa, not so fast. Oh, huge clues line by the destroyer. I'll tell you, the destroyer is impressive Where? as hell. He right. Oh, safe coming in with an STF, STFO, blah blah, ABC. Brother. Knee to the gut, scissor kick. Safe firing up here. Brother, I'm from. Knee to the back. I'm love. Oh, big neck breaker from safe. He's trying to mo mount some kind of offense on the destroyer. I love you, Chris. What the hell's going on with this guy? I don't know if this guy <laughs> likes to speak words one out of fucking time. Welcome to TKWA, <laughs> motherfucker. Good. Man. How <laughs> are you, dummy? Yeah. <laughs> dummy. Yeah. Brother. Dummy. Yeah. See. Dummy. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. Oh, retard alert! I don't know what he has planned. The here, destroyer taking Seth on face. the outside. Brother M. Oh, he oh, he busts him open with a spinning DDT. He can't count safe out. Stomping out. Geezers. Od. Yes, I hope you OD. Thank you. Old. Six. 
This is our main event, folks. We got the Destroyer from XFW taking on Safe, who is Nixie's manager from Dreadful Gaming. He's typically not a superstar. And he's trying his best against the Destroyer. He's definitely giving it his all. I'll tell you that right now. A against this is no I mean no the destroyer is a jacked warrior from hell well, what do you expect you know Wicked body shot. but safe he keeps coming back what I'm told is nobody wanted to step up against the destroyer and if got pushed into it and he said yeah I'll do it Oh, wrenching on that arm on the outside. They better get back inside the ring. It's a draw, folks. It's a draw. It's a draw. Count out. Count out by both people. I almost want to restart that match. It's a kind of shitty way to go out on a on the card, but ladies. Audience, do you say redo it? I say restart it. What do you guys say? What do you say, TKW Universe? Let it go in the chat. Do you want that match restarted? I think it should be restarted because that was bullshit. I mean, I if I could know. restart it, I would. Brother. I can't. <laughs> boo! Everyone say boo here. Boo! I know. That's the way it goes on TKWA House. We we don't we don't fucking modify the results. It is what it is. We just did four hours, folks. Four hours. It was a shit ending. Uh, I agree. Oh, God. I Everybody. agree. It was a shit ending. What What can we do about it? <laughs> do, you, what, do you really want me and Tony to do another two hours? Because holy fuck, man. We've done four and a half hours already. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can sit I can't sit through another one either, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I'm calling this. I'm Tits McGee. With me, as always, is Tony Cannoli. We just did four and a half hours of fucking entertainment for you. We love you. I'm very Much love. To the next one. Say goodnight, Tony. Night, Tony. Ha <laughs> ha.